Um, now went live. So let's see how long that takes. Probably about 10 seconds or so. Yep, there it is. Yep. Okay. Now let me pull out the chat. So you All think right. that? Huh? Oh, go ahead. I'm just saying hello to the boys. Who else we got? Uh, Paulie. Hey, Jim. Be right there, buddy. I'm sorry. I came in a little early. All right. You want me to, give me a minute. You want me to pull you down? All right, whatever you want to do, man. I'll, I'll just give him a minute. All right, All right. I'll just mute his mic for now. He was, uh, you were not going on when you were talking about. That was uh, Paulie going bum because I've been trying to encourage him and Carlos and Charlie to make up a weekly video for us to play. All right. Because those three get together and they're nuts, man. <laughs> they're just crazy. Wait for a few people to jump in. You know, the FAA has come out with their uh, trust program for the recreational pilots. We should really wait on this, but I'll show it to you now because you guys are here. Let's share that. Was well, there like a new set of rules for recreational pilots? Yep. That's the trust test for recreational pilots. These are the 16 places that are administering it, and I have one up. This is the Pilot Institute. Even Drone U got their little, look at this. Drone U got themselves worked in there. What worried me is what I saw the other day with the people, the companies that are on the ARC, the Committee for the Beyond Visual Line of Sight. Holy, it's Amazon Airways. You know, it's none that, of us. None when of us. That, when does that kick in, though, that you have to start taking that? Is that immediately or now or what? It says in June 2021. Announced the following entities as, okay, I see what you're saying. What, what is, is the date? A, what is it, just a quick online course or something? Yeah, it, it's not meant to be tough because it's for recreational pilots. They just want safety is their concern. That's all. all right. Okay. And then, you know, like I said, there's 16 different sites you can go to here. How These much companies, does it, cost? it should be free. Oh, okay. You just pick one and then you just do it to them? Yeah. It better be free. Hey, Bob and Casey. I can't. Oh. Hey, Bob Casey. I'm watching my my cursor go over to from screen to screen. <laughs> Although it confuses want, the heck out of me. You on FAA's website? They have all the different links. To yeah, those are the 16 sites that are doing that. The pilot, uh, recreational pilot testing. Right. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Think go ahead. No, I'm going to say it's free because for if from what I just saw from the Canadian, the country of Canada with their CAA is they're actually going to be charging companies for a certain weight, which I like this, for a certain weight drone or whatever. I think he's, uh, Loren said uh, $2,000 a year. It's, um, well, listen. If so, what if you're delivering, you're getting charged. I'm okay with that. They're not charging me and you. So you're not worried about like the recreational or just everyday flyer. No. You're worried about if you're commercial and using hundreds of drones. Right. Okay. The only thing I am worried about is that that a, that AMA free site that we all talked about. Like, because I don't have one down here in my city. Mitch says he has one up in the top of uh, Melbourne. And they said a long time ago, no city, state, or other entity can apply for one. This is the Pilot Institute. I just picked one of the 16 sites and wanted to see.
Suppliers can access the trust test here. Let's go there. Enter your name, make a password, activate your account. This is just for recreational flyers. So I would not be too worried about it. The, the whole, the idea of the FAA is to educate, not make it tough. But like when, when I heard somebody them. bitching, I heard somebody bitching about why do they want you to know about clouds and that? Because they want you to know what a thunderstorm cloud looks like <laughs> and what the airflow is around a thunderstorm cloud. Like here in Florida, they get the the updraft is unreal to create these thunderstorms that we get. You know that, yeah, Justin. Cool oh. storms, man. Well, the guy that was flying that plane around the tornado, I think he missed that portion of the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bob Casey, this is their portal to the test right here. Hey, let's say hello to a couple of the boys. Bob. How you doing, Drum Bomb? Is that hey, the bomb? How are you, buddy? Mr. Ron Lockwood, how are you, my friend? Mr. Bomb, how are you, sir? What's up, Justin, Matt, Ron, Jim Ho. Gentlemen. What's up? Matt North, how are you, brother? <laughs> not bad, not bad. How's yourself? I can't Let me put can't Matt complain. up by me so these, these hellos come out in front of my face because nobody What's needs up? to see my Wanker? face. How you doing, Wanker? Capture life. Yeah, no. <laughs> God, he's eating again. It's nice to see Justin made it today, and he hasn't got a black eye. It's a good thing. Yes, he's alive and well. <laughs> and we have a Rastafarian. Oh, is he here? Yeah, man, you know, everything the area. Blood clot, yeah, no. rust clot. Full house tonight. <laughs> oh, there he is. A resident Rastafarian. You know. Holy moly. You know, man. I love that. It was my week. <laughs> <laughs> his wife bought him that. I want you to know that his wife bought him that. Yes, she did. She knows. She is old. She's having fantasies. Right. No. <laughs> I'm as black as she'll go, she says. <laughs> oh, you, you don't know how I get greeted at this house, let me tell you. I can imagine. It's an interesting <laughs> greeting. A little hey, bit Jim, ethnic. Jim, I bought two of those cards. Yeah, so did I. Uh, Nineteen dollars. How can you turn them down for 128 yeah. gigabyte? Amazon hey, Prime days, guys. Oh, There's about eight hours left. Oh, you're 128 though. That's a lot. Yeah. 128 gigs, nineteen dollars and eighty nine cents each. But some of the some of these drones don't take uh, over one over six. Well, uh, Paul, remember you had an issue with that with one of the drones SD card too big. Too big? No, yeah, I know you can have that issue. I never had that issue. I have an issue where it stops recording mid-flight. That's good. Yeah. Yes. I have not. But, yeah, no, you can't have too big. I think 128 is really the highest they recommend. Oh, okay. Oh, then I, I should get one or two. Do they have any 64 gigs? Yeah. Yeah. 64, On sale also? Uh, yeah. Yes. Only because. Yeah, but the 64 it, gigs were four, were 15. They were 14.97. So uh, it's kind of like, why would you buy that? Only because of one reason. If you right. lose 128, you lose all 128. If you lose 260, 164, you have the other 64. I don't know. A, that's, no, there's a lot to be said for that. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I know. I, I actually have heard people, and I was a little surprised. Uh, FPV guys, I forget who it was. They use one SD card per flight. Do you imagine? Yeah. It, yeah. If that film is valuable to them, hell yeah. What I, I was telling Matt, when I turn on my drone, I turn I just have it start recording. You never know what you're gonna catch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I um especially on the trip I just did, I went through three SD cards and that was three separate locations. Um because if I especially on the, the last one where I was flying over water and all sorts of shit, if it goes down I don't want to lose those other SDs with all that other footage on it. Right. So I do do that quite regularly uh, when I do um, multiple areas because, you know, makes sense. It, it, waste of a day if you, if you do lose it, you know. I, I've something got, to come back with. Yeah. I've got 128 cards. I very rarely fill them up. I don't record like Jim does, but um, 
I very rarely fill them up at all. <laughs> it wasn't a dig at him, Ron. <laughs> no, because some of the stuff I catch, I was telling Matt, like, I didn't deliberately catch when the drone's coming back to me and I'm recording. I'm also recording the sides of my house where they built those two new houses. I didn't deliberately record that. So now I have that progression view that mm. I wasn't even going for. I was going to bring a damn drone home, you know. Yeah, yeah. So hey, I could get it up in the tree. What's up, Jody? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the, Matt, did you order the uh, frame? Sure did. Order two of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, got two coming now. So um, and that where was really it Where is it coming from? You know, it's coming to the US. Now, the, the two the two sites that that I ended up with yesterday were exactly the same, except okay. one. Uh, was the international site. Um, okay. I couldn't order from um, Emax USA. That's what um, I thought. Yeah, good, yeah. Good, good, good. As long but as you got everything else. Yeah, yeah. Now, everything. did you order any extra props while you were there or anything? Oh, I've got extra props, mate. Oh, okay. I've got extra props. Good. I've got 14 batteries, so I'm sweet for a while. Although those bat batteries seem to be fa failing. Um, I've had two now. Um Dying the ass on me. As soon as I put it in the air, land now. Really? Yeah. They, yeah. Puffy first. Did it get puffy at all? No. No, huh? No. Didn't now, get puffy. on the uh, hold on. where is this thing? You have one of these to charge? Sure do. There's a switch on here. Why don't you hit the switch? And there's like a high and low. Is there a high and low switch on this? Hold on. What is yeah. that, Carlos? It's to no. charge the one S batteries. Is that that smoke week? tester? No, 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 no. no. Like, this is smoke oh no, no, not that. Doesn't, oh, okay. doesn't it have a switch to do high and low? Uh, not that I'm aware of, mate. Let me see that again, Paul. Oh, maybe not. This one doesn't have it. No. I thought it did. That's the smoke tester. No, that's a battery checker, no? Oh, that's a smoke yeah, tester. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they double yeah. both? Okay. This is just a charge. The one has yeah. batteries. Yeah, I've got a couple of them. They're the standard ones. I'll do the 2S that comes with it. One of the bigger plugs there. Yeah, yeah. And there's uh, no switch on that? No, mate. No, nothing. Okay. You can do right. six on that one, Carlos? It looked like yes. you had six. Okay. Yeah, six at once. Do you fly yeah. them below three volts? We have a question. I go to 3.3, 3.2 at the most, at the lowest. And then when so, you turn it off, it'll go up to 3.7. And then you think you have more battery, but it's... Because it's coming back up. From yeah. the from right. the power cycle, right? Correct. That's the same with uh, the DJI batteries. I wouldn't go below three point four when we're flying. Mm -hmm. Three point four yeah. volts is like friggin' dead. What's the recommended on the DJI ones, Jim? I know I, it's, it's three point something. Probably seven. No, that's max. The max charge is like three point seven two. No, it's. I thought it would be four point four, four point three. No, it's below four. It's below four. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, the LiPo Rigamore. batteries are four, three, four, four. Sorry, Brother Rigamore. Al. Yeah. Hope you're doing well, Al. I know you're taking a break, man. Matt hope needs to talk, well. Jim. Matt needs to talk. Sorry. Was, talk. <laughs> you're all right. No, Rigor Mortis has got a point here, too. You can set all that up in beta flight uh, for when your warnings come up, and that's uh, always a good thing to do. Um, I've got mine set to around about what, um, what Carlos has got, too. Him listening to reggae there. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's, it's a good thing to do. I mean, I know I know some people who drop theirs down to like two nine and all that sort of shit. Two point nine, and they and they'll go. Um, <laughs> Is that itchy, Carlos? A little bit. I'm not used to it. You know, the hair on my neck. Yeah, hey, you Rastafarians. You know, you don't take baths either. Why? Is Adrian <laughs> it's dirty tomorrow? Shit. <laughs> Get some braids has that, on there, Carlos. Has nah, Adrian gone? Just Jim? Dread, dreadlocks. Adrian's been gone even he's here. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he didn't nipple, hang around long. Nipple boy yeah. jumped out. He's probably nipple. playing with his feet again like he was last night. A strange character. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Him or Art? Adrian. Adrian. Art? Art? Forget Art. Did, I, did you I, guys... I'm waiting to see Art in person on one of these streams. I got a few questions for him. Anybody ask him what he did with the drones or drone money and all this 
disabled people that he was supposed to help two months ago and he got one email. He sent one email after he put the video out. Are you telling me that you did not love his professional? Um, I did not give him the time of day. I would not give him 10 seconds of my watch time to watch him. Who is he to be a professional of anything other than- The audio, freaking, the audio. He's I'm a professional GoFundMe freaking Democratic Republican. <laughs> Can't stand him. Matt, we haven't even made it 14 minutes in and it's already got <laughs> time. That's how you really feel, Colin. <laughs> Gone to hell in 10 minutes. What the hell happened? Freaking guy's a scammer. And what drives me nuts is people go visit his channel and give him money. I, like, okay. You know, Barnum and Bailey said there's a sucker born every day. And, man, there's a lot of them on YouTube, apparently. Mike McReynolds, thank you very much, brother. Appreciate it. There you go. How much did you get out of that? Two bucks? Uh, they take 40%? 30 percent 30 percent <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous! Well, how do I really feel? Well, and then you I mean, have to get exactly a, I think a minimum, well, don't you have to get a minimum of a hundred dollars before they'll even sell it? Right, just it's got me sweating. I knew you were going to take that thing off. <laughs> I thought it was itching your ears. No, it's just freaking hot. I don't know how they do that. These, like the real ones? Like how the hell? The real ones? The real Rastafarians? Yeah, the real homies. I don't know what or how or. I don't know how they knotted up like that. Yeah, that's all mother. The heat, man, and down south to the equator over there, right? Or close to the equator. Bob Marley, man. Tell us how you really feel, Carlos. I saw that. I saw that. It's it's true, man. The guy collects money, and nobody accounts for it. You guys are good with that? Okay. You just made 10 bucks, Carlos. Did? All right, Jim, you can send it to me uh, PayPal. (laughs) <laughs> Here's to the Puerto um, Rican Bob Marley and the Stellar Panel. We are there Stellar. Go. There you go. Thank you, Al. That we keep is it, we keeping it Rican. real. We are <laughs> keeping it real. With the rest of the panel there, Carlos. That's Al Diaz. Time to fly. I, I know. Yeah. What'd you say, uh, Paul? You got to split it with the rest of the panel. He said the rest of. Oh, I'll split it with you. All right, no problem. You, you know why Al's not on here? Because he's about to blow his fuse. He's about had it with this whole YouTube thing. In regards uh, to what in particular? You know, well, uh, go ahead, Ron. I would say, Jim, I, you know, I don't want to cause further um, You can't. friction. What, what do you mean further? <laughs> but, what are you trying to say? Go ahead. No, I, what I'm going to try and <laughs> what I am going to say is that I kind of agree with Carlos on that whole situation. It just disappoints me that one, you mentioned disabled, but two, that you say you're going to help our veterans. And that that one really bothers me. Well, see, now, th- this is perhaps my fault because I said to him, look, you're disabled. You're dis- well, I told you about the story. Uh, you right? told me about it. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with what his actions are. No, right, right. But I said, you're disabled. Why not work that angle and 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 perhaps teach or something to other disabled people how you fly because it's difficult for him. It's difficult. And then, and then it went off into a different money angle, and I... And that's what his old... Money, he's all about... Nothing about entertainment. Not to mention he has no entertainment value, but even when he wants to entertain and puts himself online it's all for watch hours he is whatever guy freaking pisses me off what the hell are we even talking about okay some freaking midget (laughs) wow you are really pissed tonight i just don't like that i really disgust me freaking he's on a republican channel for an hour and he's the first one to start a gofundme page why doesn't he just go hang on a street corner and wipe windshields fucking guy Anyway, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> that's our commentary on uh, the <laughs> well, liberal well, I'll Republican. You, I'll tell you something. Al, Al, Al doesn't. Hey, Mike. Al just had a crack. Look at this, right? And now, um, um, uh, uh, where are we? Yeah, rigor mortis. Right? The whole YouTube gain is a joke, right? Which yeah. is it is. It's 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 bloody. It gets ridiculous. But then. Al chucks in here, starting with Mr. Cinematic. That's, uh, <laughs> that Colin. would be uh, you. <laughs> yeah. 
And you know what I don't like, Carlos, is the splitting of us up. We can't like we can't be friends now because there's an FPV group and there's a camera drone group. When the hell did that become an issue? Who, who, said, who says that? Who even implies that is a moron? I, I agree. I, I mean, agree. I'm tired of being nice. 2021. It's freaking. I'm over. I'm over it. <laughs> Get the nice guy. <laughs> Get the nice guy. I'm telling it like it is, man. Fuck you back that. to full. You back to full prick status. I, well, I'm oh, always boy. a full prick. I'm just not going to be so soft about it. No, he really. Was, come was, on. He was Mr. Nice Guy for a little while. For at least I five agree. months. I gave it a five-month you know, window. You right. call us. You remember, I don't know if you guys have it in your cities, but New York City, when you stop at a stoplight, somebody will spit on your windshield and then go and wipe it and look for money. They have yeah. their hand out. Before they come to my window, I turn my wiper on and I give them the bath because they get wet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kid you not. I've, I've wet windshield wipe, and I tell him get the fuck off or I'll wipe you over. You I'm are not, cold. I'm cold? You want cold, cold reeking. Cold hard as cold. Listen, hard. I live in New York. I've had people come at me with their freaking road rage, and I've, I've told them, if you come anymore, I'm going to hit you with my car. And sure shit, they come at me, and I move forward, and they turn around because I will hit them. I tell them, I fear for my life. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I think the keto rage is, is kicking in. Pricks, so I thought I better jump in here. Yeah. <laughs> <The> keto just... <laughs> We're in. Dude, I lost 20 pounds. I went from a 36 waist to a 34 waist. I'm feeling good. Let me tell you. You had a 34-inch waist? Yep. yep. Holy Christ, I haven't seen that since high school. When I was at, at Florida, I was 36, man. <laughs> the rent. I do have a dash cam sunrise. I had some good dash cam footage today, man. I was like, you know, hurry to get home. Today's my 24th wedding anniversary. Poor How are you doing hanging out with us? And, and he's on here with us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm home here with my wife. It's another day, and my, you know. I have a question for the rent. Was I correct when I spoke when I said that they were going to charge the commercial flyers with the heavier drones for the beyond visual line of sight? Uh, you mean for Canada? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there is changes in there. Um, and like complex SFOC, which is like uh, basically if you're going to be flying beyond line of sight with over 150 kilogram. Wow. Uh, well, yeah, because the part, part of the new change, like we were limited to 25 kilogram, but with the new regs, it they bumped that up to 150 kilograms now, right? That's a lot of weight. Damn. Yeah. You can fly that with your advanced license, which is the same as your guys' as part 107. Right. Um, but once you go above that uh, 150 kilogram, then you need your SFOC. And if you're doing complex SFOC, then that's going to cost you about two grand. Well, like I was looking at the Beyond Visual Line of Sight ARC uh, Action Committee for the FAA. Yeah, yeah it's I, all Amazon Prime Air was the top one. Boeing yeah. was on there. Yeah, because uh, like seems like FAA and Transport Canada are working together pretty yeah. close on this, and and yeah, it's like that complex SFOC. You know, the two grand is not a big deal because that that is your drone delivery companies, you know? right? So right. it's it's kind of the the cost of doing business. The the uh, the normal advanced guys are part one hundred and seven guys. Um, right. You know, um, like at least for us, what, what they call a localized uh, BV loss, um, you actually get grand <laughs> grandfathered in. So there's no extra, no cost, nothing. You get grandfathered in, um, and then um, so like. There's different levels of, of BB loss. Right. Yeah. I saw a document from the FAA. Um, it was uh, when I was on Drone and Sundry. That's with Gary Mortimer, who does the SUAS News. But anyway, their point was that uh, the FAA, back in 2019, actually stated that their goal was that unmanned traffic management. Yeah. And now, with what Canada's doing... And then you know we're going to work hand in hand. I know it is going to be. Oh yeah, yeah. 
well, the first thing right. was with that, we're going to have to get out of the way, or they, do you think they're going to make a different airspace between the 400 and the 500 for the drone delivery people? Personally, I think I think that that's part of your SFOC is, is uh, um, and like there's a big push for putting on air corridors, right? Right, right. Um, we have four of them. Yeah, and I, I I still see that as being something that's possible. Um, you know, what are you guys talking about, by the way? It's, drone laws, drone laws. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and for that's what probably is probably why I'm not following. No, go I've got uh, I've got a meeting at eleven o'clock tomorrow, uh, where I'll get more information. Okay. Uh, when you say SFOC, that's another classification in Canada for flying drones? Well, it is uh, basically anything that is not covered under legislation requires you to have an SFOC, which is a Special Flight Operating Certificate. Okay, okay. So if your drone or your operation is not covered under the regulations, then right. you require an SFOC. Well, here with us, they're going to do that classification. And as a foreign flyer, if you come to Canada, right, then you have to get an SFOC because you're not a Canadian pilot, right? Okay. Now, do you have to pay two grand for that? No. No. Even to fly recreationally? If you're going to fly recreationally, yes, you still have to do it. That's wow. why I'm encouraging anybody that wants to come up, bring a sub 250, and you're good to go. Wow. Right. Just look sub in a book and take pictures. Nope. Doesn't require any license, and, and the only regulation is 900.06, which is just, you don't, we call it the common sense rule. You just don't fly to endanger aircraft or people. So, pretty, uh, pretty simple. We came out with the recreational flyers test. Yes. Today. Did yep. you guys already have that? Yep. Yeah, we, we got it. Uh, well, uh, in two weeks, it'll be, or sorry, two weeks ago. It, it's three months, uh, three years ago that we came out with that. No, he well, said under two, under, under 250 is cool. Yeah. That's what Let me put myself on the bottom. Good job. Too many rules. Well, you're going to have to take them as a recreational flyer. Uh, I hear you. No, I hear you. Wait, as an FPV recreational flyer? Yes, sir. Not happening. But I believe you. I believe Everybody in the U.S. that is a recreational flyer will have to go through trust. That's this exam, and those are the 16 companies administering it. I went to this pilot institute. Do they this, charge? No. It, no, it's free. Gotcha. And, and from what I'm hearing so far... Uh, you got to be pretty damn stupid to fail, and I mean really fucking stupid. Bob Casey took it, it and said it's easy as hell. Yeah, it's it's just there to teach you, you know, the rights and wrongs. They're not there to try and fail you. They're there to try and educate you. Okay, once you get a test, you get a certificate of something or sorts. I'm yeah, sure. What happens. I'm yeah, sure. You you get a certificate that you have to print out, and okay. then you can scan it or or. <laughs> photograph it and have it on your phone because um, oh, Diaz. You, you may be required to present that to peace officer or cop or whoever. So. FAA police. Drone police. Yeah. I hear you. Uh oh. Hi. There's the nice guy, what's Mr. On, Mitch. What's up, Al? Hey, what's going on? Carlos, hey, Lord, yeah, just Paul, sharing Mitch. my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> What's, new? What's new, Carlos? I thought, what happened to Mr. Nice Guy, man? Uh, he left. He left last week. He left. He's on vacation. <laughs> Mitch, man, you can I barely hear you. You were on a roll, buddy. <laughs> a little louder, Mitch. Raise your volume. Yeah, can barely hear you. Oh, uh, shit. I'm on a damn cell phone. All right. I just wanted, I'll just watch. Come in, say hello for a second. I don't know why my volume is low. Hold on, let me see if there's a way I can I, I can fix it. Audio. I hear you. There we go. How's that? Is that better? That looks like somebody I know. Is that better? Whack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> can, Definitely louder, Mitch. Can you hear me better now? Yes, much better. Okay. <laughs> All right. How about me? 
I'm a little low. I'm a little low. <laughs> what was? <laughs> oh man, what is that video titled? <laughs> Hey, Jim, bring yourself back in here for a second. I'm going for a smoke break. Smoke. I don't mind if you smoke. <laughs> smoke them if you got them, guys. Smoke? I don't care if you burn. It is Hi, a happy Jim. day. Jim, my how wife, are you, buddy? My wife What's says up? that 24 years feels like 24 minutes underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Jim, I was gonna I was gonna tell Matt that comment wasn't uh, was taken out of context that I wrote earlier. It wasn't uh, directly imposed at Matt, but okay. Matt disappeared. So I don't I want think, him to think that. No, no, you'll have to apologize to him yourself, right there. Apologize to him. Matt, that was nothing against it. Meaning Stellar, you were the leader of the Stellar group. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You're, you're the very mm. best. <laughs> I've seen I've seen your 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 Da Vinci videos. So oh yeah! Thumbs up and Mr. Cinematic Color, yeah. everything. That's him. <laughs> Matt, he's starting to sound like Vinci, huh? Oh, he is. He is. Yeah. Oh, Al, mate. You know, I take things with a pinch of salt, even if it was meant in that way. I didn't. I don't care, mate. It's all good. We have a crack at everyone, man. You know, it's it's uh, it's what we do. Just like I tell Ronnie shit all the time. You know, he doesn't care. He's. <laughs> hey, Chris. Mr. Hope. Oh dear. Hey, and I did it as two weeks. Yeah, oh, meet yeah. you up in uh, uh, SAC or Tahoe. You're um, going to do it? Maybe even Susanville. We, we can ride from Susanville up to Tahoe. Susanville, that's by Trap. I'm thinking it's Susan Bay. Uh, Is that Trap. by Trap? By... Somewhere uh, up that way. I'm not familiar. Not with that uh, place. That's Is this a, a few day trip or a day trip? Well, I'm going to. I know you're traveling a long way. How about Al? Al, you're going to. Go long distance? Uh, no, I'm not going to go with him on that journey. Hell no. No? What? No, I'm not doing that. I would meet him where he's got, where he was a little bit closer, which is about two hours away. Gotcha. Right? Three over by Tahoe. How's everybody doing? Long time no see. I am just wonderful. It's been a while, Al. You uh, haven't yeah, seen I've been lurking. I'm a lurker. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Replay or just sit in the back lot. Yeah, so, you know, aren't you the 100% uh, participation guy? Ah, yeah, lately no, I haven't been that way, man. I understand. Yeah. Oh, we I, don't, get I haven't even posted like anything on my YouTube channel. Just haven't had that uh, ambition. I've been working and stuff like that, busy with that, but uh, just mm. haven't uploaded stuff. Al, was that Mitch? Any more problems with that jackass? Oh, uh, no, no, I haven't. I, have, I, I think I blocked him. Jim showed me how to do it, so I went ahead and took the necessary steps. So uh, I know there's a couple other people dealing with that. But... Had a troll. Let's ask Al how he likes the masks. They're still wearing masks in school in California. Really? Still wearing masks. What, um, what, what happened to Al? What, what happened what to you, that? Al? What happened, what happened to you? Oh, I was, um, there's a few, I think a few guys out here that have been hit by that person. Somebody who's a, uh, I'm not going to give say any names, but some comments were made and they were directed at me, at me and my business and and that specific person on, on uh, pretty much a, almost all the videos I uploaded. It was pretty funny. But uh, are we I, talking uh, about that, the, the sleepy guy? Uh, yeah, he wants to he wants to go toe to toe with you. I, I freaking sneeze on in a him six by nine time. in a six by nine cell. I'd like a three by three room. That would be fine. <laughs> nine cell. You want a three by three in your hand? No, I don't. I want to hit him. I, I, I'm telling you, this is the kind of people that you could just. Poke him in the eye and not feel bad. Seriously. <laughs> I just literally two freaking hard, stiff fingers. Whack. And, and you walk away and you just put a smile on your face. Spit on your windshield and hit, hit him with your car. If, if need be. <laughs> Listen, it's either a matter of me or them. I want to, I wanna, you know, survive. So, Ron, when you st start the excursion on the bike? I uh, leave my house on the morning of the 2nd. Second, you can't, okay. you can't ride your bike to Australia, mate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, has anybody had a problem with YouTube uh, deleting their comments randomly? Chris has. I tell you, I have. you have too, yep. Paul. Yep, yep. I, I, well, you know what? I often comment on other people's comments and not put a comment on the main 
thing. I do that a lot. And oh, you're hard to hear as well. Yeah, I noticed you know, that, Paul. I noticed really you, you always comment on somebody else's comment on my video. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm weird like that. But this way <laughs> it know, sticks, right? It sticks. Um, I'll, I've got a notification in, you know, that bell up the top there when you open your page up. So all these notifications come through or the, the comments. Now I've got one from uh, Gizmo down in Melbourne and he wrote quite a piece in there, but I can't read the whole lot of it because you, you've got to go into the read more. So you've actually got to click on it, which goes into that video and then you can pull up his whole comment. When I go to that video, the comment's not there. So oh, when I go into the analytics, I'm thinking, oh, well, it might have been held for review. It's not there either. So his whole comment is in my notifications, but it's not on my video. Uh, it's strange. Hmm. I've had a lot of that going on too. They're yeah, weird shit. I'm going to actually ring him up and say, what did you say, mate? I want to know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Last day of motorcycle classes. Oh, you'll be out and about yet, mate. Get your snow tires on. Just in time for winter. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening with the whole um, it, Matt's show will come on and it won't tell me that on the left hand side where the live streams are and all the people you subscribe to, it never tells me that Matt's on. It'll tell me the grumpy logger is, a logger is doing his live show, but Matt's I always have to physically type in, but I am connected to him. Uh, the bell is rung. And all that stuff, but and I know Matt's been unsubscribed from me how many times, Matt? At least two. Yeah. Yeah. I said hundred percent, hundred percent support, Jim. Apparently, they don't like that. <laughs> apparently, I think that's, I think that's out the window. <laughs> apparently, YouTube can read my subconscious thoughts. <laughs> YouTube thinks all I watch is Joshua Bodwell because every time I turn it on, there he is. And I've watched a few of his things, of course. Hey, Paul, but, uh, can you turn your volume up? It's all the way up. Really? For some reason, I've been getting uh, Brazilian wax jobs on my timeline. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> can you believe? Look why. at his eyes. Look at his eyes. <laughs> hmm. I said rug and tub. And I keep getting these <laughs> You get uh, rub and tug videos. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the Brazilian wax job, which is actually a learning video. Mm, I get and nude yoga now, Justin. For some reason. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you should turn off. You work. Is that any better? Yeah, it's a little better. All right, I just turned off echo cancellation. Yeah, if there you, you guys a lot uh, better. That when you know, select that automatic, uh, where it adjusts your volume automatic. Your speaker or not your speaker your mic yeah yeah that makes it too low that's the problem i was having mm. then i buy that microphone and matt his subconscious um nothing was loud <laughs> tells me hey ron nice microphone <laughs> it, it oh. every, every time it rubbed on your shirt you could hear it i know yeah, there was nothing subconscious about that, Ron. I'll let you know straight out. <laughs> Somebody wants to know if you're getting Manscaped ads. Robert, yes, Robert. Yes, yes, all the bloody time. And they're up to version four now, apparently. I'm surprised you don't have all kinds of other ads after last night's live stream. I know. <laughs> This live stream is repeating right under that one. What, what was it's that sliding. one? Sliding. Uh, it's slowly sliding. Oh, the uh, the taco thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. Spicy, spicy taco. Gringo Quick question sliding. for you, GPS, DJI, bird, <laughs> battery people. I have a client that uh, I took his Mavic Air home because he's had it in his closet for like two years, and he hasn't charged the battery. I charged two of the batteries, but the third one won't light up. I talked to a drone site and he says that maybe you just leave it in there for a few hours and it might kick on, or is that just wishful thinking? Uh, there well, is a reason. I'm guessing it's, it's, it's dead. It's dead. Uh, yeah. Take it on and off charge a few times, and right. if it doesn't fire up, it's chances are it's toast. It's gone, right? Yeah. I told the guy too, but at least he saved two out of three, I suppose. All right, thank you. Just curious if there was a secret 
uh, there's a bunch of guys here that have been having the same problems. So he manually, Chris manually types in the channel and it says he's unsubscribed. But when you click on the channel icon, it says that you're still subscribed. That's what was happening to me and Matt when I go to his channel. If I manually type it in, it shows that I'm not. But when I click on one of his videos, it shows that I am subscribed to him. I've and it that. doesn't show me when he's live. I have to type in his channel name. Carlos, Mitch, Paulie, yeah. my, my first success squad. Wow. You made hey, good for you, man. Look oh, at that. No, I, didn't, I didn't make it. I'm buying and fly. Captain buying and fly. Have what you flown it yet? Oh, the brand uh, name I is Success? One. Is that what you said? Pro Tech. Pro oh, okay. Damn, that thing oh, is big. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Success is the uh, uh, flight controller or something like that? Yeah, that's no, it's an A7 Sussex. Su 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 yeah, it's a smaller a, version. Right. This one's pretty cool. It flies pretty good. But this Man, one. Hook. Can you do any freestyle? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, I can't. I I can't like uh, do different directions. I'm only like doing my power dive to the to the left, doing the spin. It's hard. Right. And it's hard to do the power loops too. So any prop an wash? Prop wash on the. Uh, no, you know what? It it does not have uh, any prop wash. Prop wash. I flew this thing with the Hero 9 I got on Father's Day. It flew pretty ni nice. Uh, couldn't do all the flippy floppies. But if you put like a naked camera on there or just don't put a camera at all, mm -hmm. uh, it could definitely do acro pretty, nice. pretty good. Pretty for decent us. for what it is. This is a success. This is the version six 2. Six. Wow. Yeah, 6S. Wow. So now you got to buy a bunch of 6S batteries. Oh, but no. Well, I've been flying it with 4S. But it's oh, just, okay. and nothing's happening. Right. Right. No, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, it'll yeah, work. yeah, yeah, yeah. You but just won't fly with success. That's a powerful battery to success. I've never flown one. I haven't flown one either, Polly, and uh, I'm probably going to get a couple of batteries just to try it out. Oh yeah. Well, keep in mind, guys, that when even though you have a success battery, you have a motor with lower KV, and the end result. It's not a whole lot different between 4S. If you got a 4S quad with the right motors, it's going to be pretty much the same feeling when you're flying it as a 6S with the lower KV motors. I've seen Mikey fly his 5S battery, and that thing took off like a bat out of hell. Night, right. That's because, he had a, that's because he was flying a 5S battery on a quad with motors that were designed for 4S. So in, in that case, yeah, it's going to overpower the motors. The motors on this one are 23, 20, 2203 or 2205s. Yeah, but what's the KV on it? 2300. Yeah, but the 4S quad it, of the same thing would probably be about 3200 or 3400 KV. So those motors are going to spin slower at the same voltage. You know, if you put a, a 4S on that, it's like flying it at two thirds throttle. Max throttle on 4S would be like two thirds throttle on 6S. You understand? Am I making sense? Yes, 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 you are. My eyes are just like everything's. Uh, this one flies better with the OEM props. There you go, learning a lesson to stay with the OEM props, as opposed to those, uh, what are they called? Pen pendulum? Penelope? What's, Pen what's the, the pitch five, on six? The props? What's the pitch? They're the bullnose ones. I don't know the actual pitch or anything. I'm probably boring people, but no. yeah, I was excited about that. It was fun to fly. Well, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited that yeah. you're excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited that you're excited, Carlos. Carlos, see I'm that? glad to see you're excited. Thank you. How about you, Loren? You excited about Ron's being excited, about me being excited, that Mitch is excited? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, my nipples are hard. Uh, I got a comment. But <laughs> oh, there you go. That says it all. Probably. We need That's to get Adrian thing. over here. <laughs> no, myself, I'm not into the FPVs at all. I don't blame you. No, I'm, I, I actually got into drones be, uh, because I'm originally I'm a photographer um, mm. since about 12 years old, and, and to me, this is just the best tripod ever. You know. Mm. It gives you a whole different perspective of the world. You well, betcha. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, tripod like is that, Lauren? What's that? What tripod is that? The drone. Oh, the drone yeah. is the tripod. Oh. 
World, world's tallest tripod. You betcha. Yeah, what are we looking at there? Jesus. <laughs> Is that a platoon? Yeah. That looked like the sergeant. Yep. And the guy that blew his head off in the uh, bathroom, that's the guy from Law and Order. Right? From the one tent. Yeah, Lauren, you're you're big into photography and videography. I uh I talked about this earlier, but I bought that um, a fluid head for my video cameras. Holy cow, what a difference. It's like like you're using a drone, how smooth they are. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is a fluid head, Ron? Make it, a long story short, it really dampens it. So, like, when if you're panning and stuff like that, you don't get any jerkiness. It, it's just silky, silky smooth. It's, it's really something not, you it's put like on your drone, grease. or you? I don't no, 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 no. It's uh, for your camera on your tripod. Oh, 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 oh! I see. So you're not really flying it, though. No, no, no. no, no. It's like a gimbal, uh, whatever the. I it forget, adds a they friction. Call it to your pan and, and your tilt and but it's it's hard to describe it just adds such a silky smoothness though is it okay to keep a drone on without flying it without the uh potential for overheating that looks okay hold on don't even answer that question i don't care anymore <laughs> <laughs> wowzers is that a wind-up doll what is that who cares what it is just appreciate it <laughs> He wants explanations. Oh, I God. need it. Come on. <laughs> so that's that's what they call a the coffee there, table, boys. but she could be standing up. You put a drink on her ass, it'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that J-Lo insured her ass? Did you ever hear that? Can somebody Google that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's... Um, Droning veteran mentioned, yeah, what's going on with the lane system and the length system? I saw an advertisement today that um, it's down. It is down. It's going it to be is. down. The rumors are for 45 days. Well, really? This, this, could be, this could be some. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm a big conspiracy theorist, so I'm not going to go into it. But go ahead. This. I'm yeah, not going to go into it. I'm not going to go. I'm just, I, I, th I think there's something more than that. I think people are, are probably using, are you using probably, a loft? From I am using Kitty Hawk. Yeah, I got a Koa for the ones I usually do with the construction ones. Right. I'm not worried about that one. It's the little jobs that come here and there that uh, I'm worried about because where I live at, right? I mean, the Bay Area is surrounded by airports, major yep. ones too. Jim, I just put a link in the chat there. Uh, little fun I had today. You're, if you're interested, yeah, I got to see the link. So, where did you hear that the land system's going to be down for 45 days? Uh, I read it on a forum. I went on an article, and then I checked the FAA website, Mitch, and it's up. Did you try to? Have you tried to get I, it? Clear? I've tried it. I've tried it multiple times. And what happened? And it says uh, that the system's down. Try again later. I'll be damned. Yeah, I, I, I haven't tried used. It. I tried it on um, on uh, Loft and uh, the new Kitty Hawk, and I tried it on Air Map. Yeah, Air Map is, is Air Map. Air Map is very cumbersome. Kitty Hawk is very much a much better app for that. But uh, last time I did it was about three weeks ago, and had no problem. Yeah, it just start. It just happened the other day, Mitch. It just happened the other day. And they're saying 45 days. That's the rumor. So what are you so, supposed uh, to do? You're supposed you're to, supposed to go on uh, FAA, uh, the drone zone, and file an authorization. And wait, and wait 90 days. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the maximum. That is the yeah. maximum. Uh, Let me see. we got a video here from Loren. Can we play this music? I don't know. Yes. Find out. Absolutely. It's just a quickie messing around one.
I was just screwing around today and I made a quick one minute video out of this. Is this your video, Lord? Yeah. What, did, what bird did you fly? Uh, actually, this was done with the Mini 2. Press a little camera on there. Me too. It's great. It's got a great camera. Really good. It does, and it shoots D log too. That son of a gun. What? Yeah. It sure does. The Air Two S. Sorry. Surprise. Sorry. No, the, oh. the the Mini Two shoots D log. It does too. Okay. It does shoot D log. Does it? Now yes. I put on on our. Then it has OcuSync uh, Two on it. There, Matt. Hurry up and buy. No way. Yeah. To. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that uh, obviously does raw photos as well, if that's the case, yeah? It does do raw photos. Raw yeah, and no, JPEG. I... Raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's, I didn't know it did raw. That's bloody fantastic for, for a, a cheapy drone like that, man. Has anyone used it in, in with raw footage? I'd be interested in seeing that. And yeah. if so, chuck me a file... And, yeah. and I want to have a crack at grading it. I shoot everything in auto. <laughs> well, I'm going to head out, guys. Uh, have a good night. Take um, care, buddy. Take care. Have a wonderful night, night, Lauren. Night, all. Good to see you. I'm trying to bring in Mark, but it, it won't come in. Really? So Jim, what do you think oh, about this ridiculous? Oh. What do you think about this ridiculous weather we're having here lately? Every day, storming like every a day, but overcast in the morning. I mean, we haven't had a pretty morning in two weeks. This, Trevor, is that you, Trevor Manic? It is me. Hello, it is me. I'm on it. Whoa! Oh, oh I've been a bit yeah. sick. I've been You're out alive. of uh, action for a while. I'll, I can only stay on five minutes. My specialist is coming to see me. So as soon as he comes, I can go. Uh, so I thought I'd see if this works because I only just got an invite. And I thought uh, uh, I'd give it a go and see if I got on. It is yeah. good to see you, man. It's been a long time. Long time. As you, can, as you can't see, I've lost a leg. So yeah, I'm in the hospital. Hard. Going for rehab, so I can now step on stairs now. And if I need to, I can at least get one up one step, but it's only a sh slow process. So I'm one step up a staircase, so I've got to at least try to get further up a staircase if I can probably leave this place. I don't know what the goal is, but at least that's an achievement that I can walk on one oh, leg at the moment. Yeah. I'm going in about two weeks' time for prosthetics. And, uh, yeah, I'm in my wheelchair, and I get around my hospital, as you see. And uh, this is my hospital space at the moment. Uh, I went in for it. Night? I'm at the Riverland, but I went to Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I lost, lost a toe and come out with no leg. God. Went in for a toe removal and come out with no leg. So How, um, how far up did they go, mate? Above the knee. Oh, shit. I, I, really? I cool can, which is hard. So yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just... Uh, I don't know. I can't see much. Can this camera pick that up? We've got oh, the you're ceiling. looking at the ceiling, mate. That is 100% correct. Uh, how's that? Oh, there Ooh, you go. There you go. There's... Well, yeah, there's out, uh, yeah, it's above the knee, so... They reckon it's the hardest amplitude to go through. Uh, yeah, the, the doctors yeah. reassured me that it'd be about seven times. Uh, one step is equal seven times one step on a normal person or, or a uh, non-amplitude person, I should say, because we're all normal. Um, but you knew what I meant. Yeah, yeah. sort of um, yeah. I went through harsh, harsh uh, with uh, medication I went a bit loopy there for a bit again, which wasn't very pleasant. Mm. So, um, wow, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of coming back to YouTube again now. Uh, it's just before I was, I because I've got a, I, I lost the vision in one eye, you see. And so for, uh, before this was occurring, 
Um, so I've got a cornea, which is at its uh, full state. It's yellow. So is therefore, this, I could Is this treat. from diabetes? Yeah. It's Good reason to be on keto, guys. Just for the record. Sorry to hear that. Tell um, me. Lifestyle change. Yeah, dude. Oh, geez, Trev, that's no good. I hope you're still there. You're no, he's there, up. but he's he, there. he was not taking care of himself, if you remember. Yeah. When, when, well, almost a year ago now that he was. More wasn't than a year. Before, taking his meds. It was more than a year. Before yeah. COVID. Yeah. COVID What's his channel on YouTube page? Manic, Manic Magic. Manic, Manic, Manic Magic. YouTube. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you heard uh, me right out. No, I didn't hear you. I would have laughed if I did. He's, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, man. He's well and truly gone now. He's yeah. Um, I couldn't get him on before. It wouldn't let him actually on. Frozen now? Well, hospitals are pretty bad for bloody signal. Hospitals are bad for everything. Yeah. That's not. We're back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be bugging. You back there, mate? Oh, there he is. He's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we, I heard everything that was said, but I think we can all be guilty of not doing, looking after themselves to the fullest um, in so many other ways. And I mean, 10 years ago, I gave up drinking and smoking. So, I mean, that was a goal for me then. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of other people that we're all guilty of our fixes at times. Um, mm. I still not drink. Everyone, I'm not a but Listen, I did it no, to no. myself by sitting in this damn chair for eight hours doing Da Vinci videos and got deep vein thrombosis. So I know what the hell you're talking about. We don't take care of ourselves. That's you right. Know? Every time I come on this show, you guys got to go into the age and how you guys would get all beat up. And You'll be there soon. Me I'm reaching that 58, my 50-year 50 mark, now I'm getting get me scared again. You will be there better. soon, my friend. <laughs> Wait, you're not 50 yet? <laughs> no, I'm not 50 yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 49 in September. I'm probably the young one. Oh, really? Is, I got 10 years uh, on you. September what? Mine's 21st. Wow. September 14th, 1972. 62. Jacoby Hospital chiropr- in the Bronx. Yeah, I went to a chiropractor for the first time in my life today. And oh, uh, I was scared to death. And, uh, now, is this gonna cause you to have to go back? Because you're gonna have to keep getting readjusted. Always. He actually told me, he goes, Ron, you're going to walk out of here better. I'm going to make sure of that. And I'm like, okay. And sure as hell I did. And what was you your what? compression? But you have to go back, right? Tension or what? What's the deal? Well, he, he told me to do some exercises and um, believe it or not. Stretching? Sleep, different, different ways to sleep. Sleep on my other side or sleep on my back. I'm a side sleeper. So you on the hard side or the other side? side? What side do you sleep on? I always sleep on the, I usually sleep on the left. I sleep on the hard side. That's the hard side. Yeah. yeah. I heard that's actually good. Don't ask me why. I don't remember. But I read that sleeping on the hard side is supposed to be good. Hey, Ron, if you ever heard of the chirp wheel, I do recommend those. The chirp wheel? The chirp wheel is a plastic tube, plastic tubing, and you roll on it and it cracks your back. Really? Just go to chirpwheel.com or just this wasn't my chirp back. Wheel. Was actually, I think oh, some okay. people call that a uh, a press for dough, you know, to flatten it out. Yeah. Yeah, call it what you want. <laughs> it works though. It's like it's people a, buy it, steps. It decompresses the, the back. It works really well. It's a yoga. Um, so, it's a yoga tool too. It wasn't your back, Ron. It was what your hip or something, was it? It was my hip. Was actually my whole iliac crest. Matter of fact, when I walked in there and I told him, that's what he goes. Wow, people don't come in and talk like that. Are you in the medical field? I said, yeah. 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 And then he oh scared the daylights out of me. He had he had me laying on this table and then he like grabbed my leg and he said, You ain't gonna like this. I'm like, Oh and then he and he did some kind of readjustment. I'm like Do you have cracks? I heard cracks. I went you know to what? chiropractor once. Sorry, Matt. All you you're on. Okay. Um, of um, my uh, my mother used to go to a chiropractor all the time, and it was a constant thing. As soon as she started, it was a constant thing. Um, always had to go back for readjustments and all sorts of stuff. Now, uh, a mate of mine had a really bad back and all this sort of stuff, and he never went to a chiropractor. Um, 
and he ended up going to uh, it was a naturopath and a natural therapy um, mas uh, masseuse, right? And what they do is they don't jerk you around and do all that shit and cracking and all that. Stuff. Don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Ed's I was going to say something, Matt. That's a perfect girl for Ed Love My Drones. I could see where, look where it goes. Wait, wait, Carlos. Look where this is going. No, oh, I've seen ask it. yourself. I've seen I would. It. I would all the way, just to let you guys know. You'd do both versions. Oh, no, uh, two you? versions. That's where Version that thing. I went to bed with a lot of pretty girls and woke up with some ugly ones. Huh? Oh, yeah. You look where this, this is going. Watch where this shit goes, mate. I'm thinking like... Listen, if they can make Oprah Winfrey look good, look at this chicken as a piece of cake. <laughs> I hear it takes like two hours to get her to look presentable. Unless she's in the color purple, then she's freaking ready to go. That is bizarre. That is too wrong. It is. Oof. It is. It's um, just too wrong. But anyway, Ron, uh, he went he went to this naturopath, Bizzo, and um, instead of cracking you around and grabbing your neck and twisting you around uh, and all that other crap that they do. We want to dance with your dates. <laughs> what happened to Matt? Animal. Um, <laughs> I'm here. I'm just going to step out for a second. He doesn't I'm interrupt listening. you, Matt. He just kicks you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. What what a prick. He's being a prick too, Carlos. Shit. Um, but anyway, they manipulate you. They warm all the muscles up and they manipulate all your muscles. And, and what they do is that they just slip stuff back in. Yeah. There's no big banging and jerking and shit like that. And he did really well out of it, man. Really well. Hey, the best I ever had was in yeah. Reno, Nevada. Well, what was her name? Somewhere over your way. Oh. I think she was from Australia. Big gal. And... I used to, uh, we have this uh, in the States here, we have a, uh, it's called Massage Envy. They're in 20, 30 states. I've heard but of that. Where's Terrible. this story going? <laughs> she was unbelievable. I mean, there were so many places that she was like, how long have you had that problem? I'm like, how did you know that? She goes, you can't hide anything from me. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, hey, Ron, did you ever try, you ever try hanging upside down? No, I we have one of those that's at the, our work. I, I can't do uh, that. That's, that's uh, I, I got Carlos saw that thing. I have sold an orthopod. Looks like a sawhorse, but you roll over on the thing and you end up unloading your back completely. And then while you're kind of upside down, you can do curls and back yeah. extensions and strengthen your uh, all your back. And I've been using that for thirty years. I've had a bad back, and I and I, and it really? completely keeps me out of pain. I never have any any problems. Should have seen him. He was doing sit-ups, this old prick. Yeah. I was impressed. Uh, yeah, you... Changing the subject. Do they ever use those electric uh, patches that cause your muscles to contract? Yes, I had that in my therapy when I broke my back. Um, you broke your back? Seven years ago, yeah. I was, the doctor told me I was done with my career was done. And yeah, I, I never I, believed um, doctors, dumbass. I had uh, about four or 500 pounds fall on me. And oh, shit. on a concrete floor, and I landed right on my tailbone, and yeah, it was the worst experience of my life. It, oh, you God. break your coxic, man. Try sitting down. You can't sit down. Oh, it was unreal. I can't was believe a tiny little bone like that, but my L2 vertebrae was completely smashed. Wow. And he, he said, you're done. I and said, that's when you no, started dating skinny chicks. Yeah. <laughs> but anyhow, you, got, what, you were done with the fat chicks then, Ron? What's that? No more fat, no more fat chicks. No more fat chicks. I'm done with them. <laughs> they start laying on you, man. You're done. But mm. I'll tell you what, the physical therapist. And I'll get to your question there, Carlos. <laughs> she, one of the things she told me to do, because it's lower back that's injured, she said, "Go to the gym and keep your upper back muscle." And she gave me three different exercises to do. And when I slack off at the gym, I don't go for a week or two and don't work those upper back muscles, my lower back starts to hurt. Mm. But anyhow, getting back to Carlos's question. Yes. That's what spinal fusion leads to. Yeah. A, a lifetime of morphine. Yeah. Yeah, but last resort. That's don't, my book. Yeah. don't do it. The day they tell you that you got a herniated disc, do what Ron's doing. Start yeah. hanging from those inverted things. Go to the chiropractor. Absolutely do everything you got to do before you ever 
get spinal fusion. I've had four of them done. And here's the thing. Once you get one done, 10 years later, the disc above and the disc below need to be fused. Yep, because they start they spreading. Want... It's yeah, a never-ending uh, basic stretching, maybe basic stretching daily in hey, the morning. Yeah. Hey, Matt, one of my last couple of days of therapy, I pulled a little Australian humor on her, um, which apparently didn't go over yeah. well. My therapy, physical therapist had a student, and she was only – I don't know, 18 years old. And they're both like tag team and, and just working me. Oh my God. But they're that's where the little, 500 pounds came from. Go ahead. Yeah, they're putting those little electronic stimulators on me. And which part of you? It was kind of uncomfortable. But then the, the therapist came over and the little student came over and they said, Well, Ron, how you doing? I said, Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, Generally, when I'm with two women and in some pain, I usually enjoy it, but tonight I'm not. <laughs> and the little student ran away. I How old was she? Was she over 18? I hope. <laughs> Ron, you're not at home right now, are you? No. Okay, because I didn't want you to be in the same boat as me last night. You know? Oh, were you in a little trouble from last night? <laughs> oh, that was funny as shit last night. Funny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and they didn't like that. Well, why not? I mean, well, God. The therapist told me Ron stopped, and the, the other girl ran away. <laughs> so, <laughs> Small was kid. she serious? Though? When she said she stop, scared. yeah. Oh, really? I think I scared her. Yeah. All sense of humor. She heard the cracking. Holy cow! No, she heard my filthy mouth. <laughs> Oh, that's not filthy. That was just a silly. Well, two two chicks in there. That's not. That's not the only bone I'd be cracking if I was with them. That <laughs> that tens unit does absolutely nothing for your back. It's for muscles, not for the, <laughs> not for a hyper uh, extended discs or anything like that. I thought the, the key to a better or strong back was a strong middle. I'm surprised they have you doing the uh, upper body instead of your center. Well, she said, you know, work on your core as well, but she said oh, okay. upper, upper back muscles. Yeah, I work them every day. Before Ooh. they would do the uh, spine fusion, you had to go and get, I had the nerves cauterized. You lay on a, <laughs> you lay on a table and they come in with a, a needle and cauterize nerves. Man, that's pain. What happened to Matt? It's crazy. What's going on there? What did I miss? <laughs> just read, I'm just reading Night Train. She got wet and had to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> that dirty talk, um, Ron. <laughs> they gonna rub one out. Oh, <laughs> you got her all excited, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy hey, Jim. Ron. What? Jim. What? 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 Yeah. Downhill. Downhill. <laughs> In a hurry. Yeah. I've learned to behave myself. I used to make comments like that all the time. I remember I had a nursing student once working in the emergency room, and she kind of almost screwed up giving a medication. I pulled her aside, and then she had she got nervous and she dropped the syringe. Oh shit! And I said, "Come over here." It was my last day of work, and that's why I, I did it because I knew it was my last day of work. I was quitting. I said, "There's two things to learn here: always pay attention to what you're doing. Read your." your labels and always remember you can always add to but you can never take away and i said if nothing else you heard today i said the last thing you never never do is you never bend over in front of a mech <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> what is she with five milligrams of how though <laughs> yeah. and then on you right ron <laughs> that didn't go over well either i said ron you can't say that i said i'm done in an hour <laughs> it's my last day <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Hey. Uh, on that note, speaking of work, I got to get going. So. Oh, that's not a good night. You're at yeah. the new place, aren't you? Is that the new uh, a the barracks city? or whatever you want to call that? No, I'm at the apartment. Um, oh, oh, wow. But I'm heading over to the base here in a couple minutes. Uh, How long it's is been that an right? interesting weekend between the dog and. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the what? dog eating the foot. That one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 
I can't Horrendous. believe you didn't grab a picture of that. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to be careful. Why? And that's a le- that's a teaching. Now. Yeah. But that's what I would say. I still have been pondering that all weekend. It's like, how can you not realize the dog's eating your foot? Was she out? Like, oh, blood alcohol is oh. when she came in was between four and five hundred. There's your answer. Yep. <laughs> um, where is that four and five hundred coming from? Down here, we use a blood alcohol level, and it's like. If you're 3.2, uh, you're dead. A 0.08 yeah. <laughs> is the legal limit. Right. So I don't know how they're doing point that. she was 0.4. So instead she should have been dead. Oh, wow. She point been point yeah. Holy four. Shit. Should That's have been dead. Total blood. That's, That's total alcohol. No blood. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, my God. That dog would have been off its nut. And that, that's why I think the dog the you're one, worried about. The one medic that was there said, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the, the pit bull was looking a little glossy eyed. Dog got drunk after <laughs> eating a leg. See, Ron, Ron's worried about the dog too. The dog was a little glassy eyed. Yeah. He was worried he might have to revive the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, did they put the you know if they put the dog down? I don't know, but there were suggestions of it because it's not the first time he's pulled he's he yeah, really does some other stuff. I don't like pit bulls to begin with. Nope. But, yeah, he would have got a 45 right between the lookers. There was uh, a pit bull down out. the block that this girl used to let run uh, loose. And I kept telling her, put that thing on a leash. And she disregarded it. So one time this thing came close to me. And you know those wow. scooter razors, those metal scooter razors? Oh, yeah. They're called razors? Yeah. Well, I picked it up by the handle and I took the bottom of it and I went like this and I went whack. And I hit the freaking dog in the mouth and made him bleed. And he took him off. Because I, I told her, keep that thing away from me. The minute he came up, because I was also with kids, if I'm not mistaken. My sons, one of my sons were out there. And sure as shit, I took this thing, spun it real fast, whack. Hit him with the freaking scooter. Pitbull owners beat. seem to be They think it's funny. They think it's cute. They think, oh, they're the friendliest pet I've ever had. and I think they like the power trip and the fear that they cause, personally. Yes. Yeah. It's like a cop with a gun. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. Well, listen. I don't like Thank it. God they give psychological I've been, tests. I've been bit by dogs. Yeah. It's not fun. Mm. Hurts. Mm. It's like five or 600 pounds of pressure. Just yeah, but we all them. know that they breed those pit bulls to be angry bastards. Yeah. I, I've heard different, so I don't know. I keep hearing it depends who's, uh, you know, taking care of them. Look, that's exactly right. You know, I had two German Shepherds and are the best things ever, but I trained them. You've got to when you've got big dogs, uh, and you've got to if you've got a dog that's inherently aggressive too. You never know, mate, you know, <clears throat> with those dogs. But, you know, if you um, – I've known people with pit bulls. I don't like the look of them. I don't like being around them. It's it's purely because I don't like you know there is a there is a stigma about them I guess but they were lovely dogs they were there was nothing wrong with them because they were brought up in a in a household where they weren't um, just, I mean a lot of people they they laugh about it when they train their dog to attack shit and all that right. sort of crap you know? right and um, <clears throat> that's that's where it can go ass up with those bloody things but my gem and chef was beautiful dogs beautiful dogs. Um, and the same thing with these pit bulls of, of, of a friend of mine, you know, great dogs, but yeah, I would never have one. But yeah, they, they were they were fine. I think the problem is people, dogs like that. People fear them, and the dogs sense that, and that's where half the trouble comes in. I had dogs. Two, dogs, two dogs fighting, and the <laughs> only way I could get them away from each other is I turned on the hose, and I was literally right there, full blast, in the dog's mouth. There was no way I could get these two dogs apart, Ron. Yeah. Not for nothing that some people do that when dogs mate and they can't come apart. They hit them with the hose. You never heard of that? I've heard of oh, that. No, yeah. no, no. I hadn't heard oh, of yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, when I was growing up I in the Bronx, of. I remember wild dogs uh, like roaming the area all the oh, time. Oh, right in my Like if you take your, your bike into a, a, like an abandoned uh, yard or junkyard or anything like that, you know, open yeah. field, they'd be running wild in there. Yeah. They're pretty scary. Well, hey, I better run. Jim, thank you. All right, Bye, Ron. Take care. Okay, Johnny, nice see you there, Ron. Right. Be good, Ron. Yeah, Be safe. Drone bomb has been great. It's been a long time, buddy. Yeah, man. We got to get together one of these years. I'll get up to South Dakota ways. Maybe. Actually, I'm going to go there one day. You and Bumble. Carlos are coming out, man. Nah, yeah. it takes him forever to go anywhere. Nah, I'm <laughs> <laughs>
he's got right, a, he's got tricky stuff to deal with. It's different. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Not have, a good run. Run. have a good Thank shift. You, Only for law enforcement and military. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're breeding them that way, and they train the hell out of them. When they do that, uh, uh, the canine <laughs> training. Well, you see them, they always leave the car on with the air conditioning on. But with mm. the cars in the back, with the dogs in the back. On the way to Florida, I got to see one of these dogs in action. I was online in New York, and some guy cuts in front of me. So I tap him on the shoulder. I go, uh, any reason why you just cut in front of me? So he pulls out a badge. He goes, training. So sure as shit, he's carrying something. He goes through the uh, security part where they have the dog walking back and forth, back and forth. And the dog you know, does the alarm or whatever he's supposed to do yeah. because he had, I don't know if he had a weapon on him or what the dog was sensing, but we got a show. Huh. They, they have those yeah. big pads they put on. You've oh, yeah, no, seen it them. Yeah. It wasn't that, uh, that involved, but yeah. Those dogs are unreal at the airports, man. Stuff that they do. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. used to work at the airport when I was younger and what they do in, uh, international is, they take the dogs. They take the dogs in the uh, conveyor belt in the back, and they have them walking up and down, up and down all of the bags. And if they happen to see the dog react, they'll let that bag go and then pick up the person who picks up that bag. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Why they yeah. do it. Bob Casey <laughs> trained his own. Dan, what? Wait a minute now. The and... last time Dan and I were talking, he was looking at an actual. Uh, Honda Goldwing that he was going to get a fantastic price on. Yeah. And, and then Those I see your video. Bikes. Yeah. And then I see your Solid video bikes. today and you're in the cafe racer. What the hell's that? Oh, man. I couldn't turn it down, dude. 6,000 miles, bro. <laughs> Brand new. You got, a, you got a new bike? Oh, yeah, bro. It's a, yeah, a little rocket. Yeah. It's well, no, it's a, it's a technically it's a cruiser. It's definitely a cruiser. It's but it's the just, way it's designed, isn't that where you like lean forward yeah, over the tank? Well, right? Okay, yes. but you, you have to understand it's a cafe, so it's a crossover now. It it originally started off a cruiser and now it's a mix between like sport and cruiser. You Can know you what sit I mean? up on it? It it is upright seating. I'll, I'll take a picture when I'm sitting on it or do a ride past the camera so you guys can see what the angle of attack is. It's actually really comfortable it's, it's a lot more you're gonna raise the handlebars on it right? actually no I, I kept the handlebars down i prefer to lean because Forward. if i'm sitting if i'm sitting upright then it makes me hunch if i have my arms as support then i actually feel more comfortable on my back let's see how long before your wrists start to hurt uh, if it's a, I mean, ca if it's a cafe the racer thing. the handlebars are not supposed to be high right right they're they're right. low no, they're down low. yeah they're, they're down yeah. It's just that the foot pegs That's aren't sport like foot pegs. They're underneath you. They're they're more. I don't, I don't know how to explain this, man. It, yeah, it's just considered style. a crossover at this point. I thought you were gonna raise them because it was hitting the tank. So no, I wanted to raise the electronics. I wanted to roll the starter switch oh. and everything upwards, which I did that today. And it's what were you saying? What, what was that? Uh, did you read what Bob put in there? Sorry, Dan. I mean to laugh at you, but if somebody put that about me. I would laugh as well. It looks like the, you said it was hitting the gas tank. The Gila Gorilla? You guys don't know Magilla Gorilla? The, the starter switch. Oh, Remember OG? Yeah, the the you, you, OG. you guys, you have to understand, it's not really a small bike. I know it looks small, but it's you really showed it. It's smaller than the scooter. The the profile no, I showed it I showed it because it's it's angled, it's low riding, so it looks lower than the scooter, which it is. It's lower than the scooter because it's been chopped, the frame's been chopped. But the back wheel is stretched. It's a long wheel. It's it's the, the wheelbase is much wider than the scooter. It's longer. So it's it's a stretched bike, man. I mean, you'll see the difference. If I sent you a picture of it from the rear, you'd be like, oh gosh, it is stretched. Okay. Like it take it us just, to your garage. Go show it. I want to see it right now. Can it you has want your a, garage to show us. I don't know if <laughs> my internet's gonna make it out there. I can try. Hold on. How many CCs was it again? It's five hundred. Five hundred. That'll get you going. Yeah, that'll it's, seventy it's, miles an hour. It's it's interesting. It's, it's thing. But see, it wasn't made to be a cruiser like easy on your back or something like that no, kind of not. cruiser. Internet did cut it. Like a, uh, a bar bike you go bar to bar with. What do they call those things? Lord, you moment. You remember those cafe racers that were the board track racers? Like you see them every time you're at a bike event. They have that round 
what do they call that? Uh, any guys who's been at any bike event, the wood, it's all wooden inside and it's a round cage and then they get the board track racer in there. Never seen that? It's gravity keeping him against the wall and he can actually move up. Oh, wow. You had to see it okay. at Coney Island Just or something. I'm trying to show you from this angle, but it's going to look short because you can't see the extended beyond the seat. You see what I mean? Make them big screens. Uh, uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you can share, share the video. Yeah. Share so the video because I, I didn't see it. You're frozen. Yeah. Look, look. See? There is no looking. You're frozen. No, There's you're no frozen, bro. Do. I'm going to have to bring up your video. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm cutting in and out. Am I cutting in and out? You are. Yes. yes. You are. Jeez, yes. Your screen's frozen. Yeah, that's it's just frozen. On. I can't. I can't get in the garage. It just doesn't work. Oh, nearly. Yeah, share nearly your video if you have the video. I don't see it. So did you sell the scooter? It's just too far away from the router. No, it's out there. Yourself. I'm gonna sell the scooter though. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep. Didn't you buy like a uh, ski, uh, sea do or something like that? Water skis? Jet skis? Yeah, we sold that. For, we sold that for a lot, a lot. Okay. <laughs> so you turned it over. You turned I it got over, turned it around. Way good. Good night. I did. I left it on the okay. okay. Yeah. So as, as much as I'd love to show you, I don't even think I can switch over to. I think Jim's gonna share I the video. There you go. That the blue that, one that in the middle. That looks like a that one in the middle looks like a Grom. So the front tire is actually matched up with the front of the scooter tire, so you can see how much longer the bike really is compared to the scooter. You see what I mean? Sort of, but yeah. Let me ask you this, and be honest: Are you going to feel comfortable on the middle bike or the bike on the outside? What middle bike? Me, like in the middle, looks like over. a leaner. I'm never comfortable on leaning bikes. It is a leaner, yeah. It's really, guys. It's not as bad as you think it is. It, it's, <laughs> I my first I bike. I see the handlebars are straight up instead of straight yeah. down. Okay, right. My my first bike was a crossover. I'm so used to crossover bikes that it really didn't bother me in the slightest. Like you can actually sit upright and just hold it with one hand if you want to, and just cruise with your other arm on your leg, just like a normal bike. It really. Why do it's people not, do that? Why don't you ride with two hands? I don't get. That. It's not. Well, I because it's just comfortable. I don't know, man. There's just things about you know, it's comfortable. I guess you should always yeah. have two hands on the wheels in my. Ah, uh, that's, that's just a question. Are you wearing a helmet? Of course. That thing's five hundred cc's. Yeah, it's a singles. It's a Buell Blast 500. It's a company made by, well, you guys know. That's a Harley, yeah. It's Harley. Mate, look at the size of that bloody belt drive. Yeah. And it's not covered either. Oh, dude, it'll, it'll hammer. It'll hammer the throttle if you give it goose. Like, if you give it goose, it'll go. It's not a joke. I saw you coming man. up on that car. Dude, I barely hit it. It'll stand up. <laughs> I know because I tried today. What, doing a wheelie? Yeah, it'll stand right up. No problem. Doesn't even think about it. Second gear pull, it'll just stand right up. Oh, that back <laughs> tire shot. No, it is. It's gone. Yeah, the, the tread, the tread line in the center is about gone. The line in the center is about worn. It's time for a tire. It reminds me of a Grom. That's what I said. It has the characteristics of a Grom because it's been chopped. You know what, what I'm is, saying? What is a Grom, guys? I don't know what that is. It's a Honda Grom, except this thing would look oh, like a monster next to a Grom. It would look much larger. The, the, this has a way more aggressive profile than a Grom does. So now you have three scooters. You're going to sell one of them? I'm actually selling both scooters. She decided she's not wanting to get into the scooter thing. She oh, is. something must have happened. Is that your sweetheart? No. She, she just... She got she her man just, card. Hello, Tato she, Rogers. She she rode it and just felt like cars were faster Matt, than her. Matt. Yeah, I did I did uh, motorcycles for three summers in New York and that was enough. I said, nah. I got did I, miss that? did I miss something, Jim? I said she got her man card and she didn't want to ride on the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the chat. <laughs> uh, that's what she said, nah, it's got to be a cruiser or nothing. I can't step she, up your game. You got to step up your game. She doesn't even want to ride on it. And I told her she can't anyways. It's designed for a single person now. <laughs> How much are you selling them? What's that? The scooters? Uh, the one on the outside, the black one, I'll probably sell for 600 The yellow one will go for about 1000 
have you ever seen women on the back of these things, Dan? They look absolutely not that stupid. Little thing. Oh, yeah. They sit, good. they're sitting they're straight good. up while oh, you're yeah. bending over driving. And they look ridiculous. I took the pegs off, so there's no secondary rider. It's going to happen on this thing. All right. Dan, how many speed? Is it Mark, five speed? It, it's speed? a five speed. Yeah. Yeah. Taters here. I said that about a minute earlier. But that's Hater. okay. All right. Let's hear this thing. Hold on. Oh, dude, the GoPro does no decency. It's got a Vance and Heim system on. It's loud. My neighbors hate it already. Did you take the baffles out? You was uh, no, it's it's got a performance Vance and Heim system on it. There's no baffle in it. It's just loud. This is the one where I saw you coming up behind that car on the highway. No, I wasn't on the highway. These are all back roads. These are all neighborhood roads? Yeah, these are just neighborhood roads. Grom is what now? All right. Is a small kids rocket uh, style Dan, miniature. Let's go you don't some. ride with shorts, do you, Dan? Runs I do out. ride with shorts, yeah. I have the burn marks to prove that I ride with shorts. On a Harley, the muffler system all comes out on the right side, and you oh, burn your leg myself. every time. Yeah, the exhaust on this is underneath. It's a it's a bottom mount exhaust. One hand on the wheel. Mike, are you looking at slip-ons or a full exhaust system? It's probably slip-ons if it's 400 plus. I know we got a new bike. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, with the price of gas going up, the best thing to do is ride a bike. Yeah, 425 right. over here. Depends where you live. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's 425 over here. Yeah, it's just for regular, dude. Car. The thing is so small and has so much power, it is stupid. All right, let's fill it Wait up. Wait a minute, he's filling it up, not in. You have to be on the bike. Two bucks. Two gallons? Two gallons? Uh, Three gallons? Two gallons. It's, a it's a two and a half gallon tank. Dan, you don't you don't fill it up while you're on the bike, leveling no. it up. No. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. That's awesome. nice. That's I, have to get out. I have to get off to put in my pin code for my. Yeah, and then you get back on the bike and pump it in, and you keep the tank level. Ah. And do you use super? Uh, well, the, today I was just putting 87 in it. I actually want to take it down. When when this tank is done, I want to start running uh, ethanol free. In it. I don't want to. It's carbureted, so I don't super. want any, any more ethanol. In it. Always put super. If you can two gallons, I had, it's going to cost a Well, dollar. no, you always want to do ethanol free because ethanol destroys carburetors and rubber. Caskets, that's why they tell you to do worst fuel ever. Worst fuel ever, that shit. What's that? I don't think I've ever seen ethanol, ethanol free gas. Yeah. Ethanol free gas is the best if you're carbureted. Where do you Absolutely. buy it? Uh, Wawa has it down here. Seriously? Wawa. Yeah. I love the name of that. Yeah, hmm. all, all carbureted engines run the best on ethanol free. It just keeps it from destroying the gaskets. Donkey. You could let ethanol free fuel sit in a bike for a year with no issues, and it would start right up just like the day you left it. Yeah, I never, I never use that ethanol in my. It, mine's, mine's injected, but I've never used the fuel. I, that I did ethanol want, ruins all your weed whackers and all that stuff. It dries uh, it out does. the tubes. It, it just, them. it kills your fuel lines. It kills your rubber gaskets. It just destroys them. That's why you run ethanol free fuels. Mm. Yeah, it the does cars, cars, them out. The cars are a little more regulated for ethanol, so they can handle it. They're more tolerable than than the bikes and stuff are, and small small engines. But you know, if you if you got anything that's carbureted, it's just best advice is to run a ethanol free fuel. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right too. Um, and uh, and Jim, yeah, with the uh, with the, I, I put mine in the weed whacker once. I thought, oh well, why not? Why not? <laughs> Never again. Everything just started melting. I had and those plastic was, tubes dry out so bad they they crinkled that you know, they just crashed in my hand. I don't know how to that, call it. That or they become really, really brittle. Brittle, 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 and or pliable. They'll just become rubbery to the point where they just stretch and break easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I hate there you go, shit. Al. You can't, you can't, you can't ride on, you can't rag on me about the scooter stuff anymore, bro. Sorry. I never ragged on you. I just said I wouldn't get on a scooter. That's all I said. But you know what? I'm a big dude, so I wouldn't get on a scooter. I'm a big Dan dude. Dan's not a little that. guy himself. <laughs> I'm definitely not a little guy. Well, he's man. lost. He's lost a lot of weight, though. Even even with the weight loss, man, I still have a huge build. I'm still a big guy. 
I'll use mm. uh, he looks like a the, bear on a bicycle best. at the circus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I laugh when he said McGill a gorilla with Bob said McGill a gorilla. Yeah, I used man. to watch that fucking cartoon. I the used best to like it. Get is 93. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> you remember OG? The girl, OG. the little girl. That was her name. OG. Shot and uh, what the other was shoot the pigeon or whatever the other oh, one yeah, was. Oh yeah, stop the pigeon. Stop <laughs> the pigeon. There you go. Dick Dastardly, Penelope. Yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Snidely Over. Whiplash. I Over. used to like the dogs laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody I've talked to says I actually look decent on it. They say I don't look too big for it. So that's I because think... you're big, and they're afraid of you hitting them. No, no man. Oh, my you know what be... you call a big black guy in a dark alley? Anything he wants. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, so Dan, I see the progression. Now you've gone from scooter to uh, the next size up, and oh. next is going to be a cruiser. You're going to be on a cruiser. Sure, it is a cruiser. Cruise. <laughs> Technically, well, it's you're going to be cruise. on a uh, a bigger bike, I should say. It won't happen, man. I'm uh, capping it here. There's there's reasons for that. Um, I, I honestly didn't want to go bigger, but I couldn't get bigger scooter tires. Uh, so I had to make a decision. I wanted to keep riding, but I realized I was going to need something with a little taller tires that could go a little faster uh, to get on the highways and go to St. Petersburg and do some of the stuff I needed to. So I don't want to go bigger. I've had crotch rockets. I've had big bikes. Uh, I mean, I broke every fucking bone in my body all in one go. So I, I think Yeah, sure but you're smarter that. now. Well, and that's and I agree with that. However, I also have a mom and dad that love me and hate bikes. So, oh, okay. I hear if that I one. go if I go too big, I'm never going to hear the end of it. So I get that one. Five hundred. But is you have a three bike. Bike's a bike, mate. You know, and to be all honest, you get, you got a chance of getting hit with a scooter or or your five hundred or a thousand or fifteen. Doesn't matter. Yep. Yep. Yeah. When you're Doesn't underneath matter. the car. Because the police were chasing you, it hurts just the same. Well, that's the only reason I got rid of my bike because I had it for a few years and I got away with it. You know, I survived, and uh, that's what <laughs> and I, I said. Got, Three I got summers, rid of it and I'll never do it again. I had me fun. Don't worry about that. Um, had Andy. a few close calls here and there. That's but, exactly you know. how I felt. I got three yeah. summers without dying, crippled, or freaking falling. Ah, uh, we'll quit while I'm put it this way. Put it this way, right? I, I don't think someone should look oh, there's nothing against what you're doing, Dan, at all. But because um, you obviously love what you're doing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. He likes those scooter bikes that make him look yeah. manly. Yeah. yeah for, <laughs> look, if you love what you're doing, that's <laughs> fantastic. It's like skydiving or uh, drag racing and all that sort of shit. If you don't Here's really the man love card it, right here. Here's the man card. Come yeah, on. He, he, uh, he bought it, he fixed it, he repaired it, and he flipped it and sold it. I'll give you kudos for that. I know, show. though, it's going gonna, it's gonna to progress, scooters. Dan. It's no. going to get worse. It will. Mm. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm does, good, You man. know that. I, I've you realized that speed kills and uh, the, driver kills the, the driver kills himself. The driver respect drive. the bike right. and you'll be fine. It, it, took, it took one good motorcycle accident to teach me everything I needed to know about riding. I did not respect my bike the first time around. I treated it like it was a toy. And when I wasn't afraid of it, I started riding it like a stupid person. And it yep. cost me. You were a probably lot. a lot younger too. And, I was. Uh, I was in my uh, early twenties, and then uh, you know, yeah, that was eight or nine years ago. I owned a motorcycle and scooter repair shop. I used to you're gonna live forever cool. when you're in that age. You know, yep. ten feet tall and bulletproof. I created all my own problems, and I paid the paid the price for. That. I'm still paying the price for that, man. My internal organs are destroyed. So, mm. Carlos, oh, it, this is me. Great. That'd be a great shirt, uh, Bob. <laughs> What do we got, bro? This I'll is send me you money bugging for that uh, Charlie, uh, what do you call it, Drone Psyche with the Tiny Hawk 2 like I used to do with Bum. But now I picked on Charlie. It's nice to have a new guy to pick on. Yeah. <laughs> you can even out the uh, – watch how close I get to his head. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a Patrice? Oh, by the way, D-Man, I got your shirt on for everybody, bud. A few times I uh, – actually, yeah, I hit him in the head. Nice. Times. <laughs> what am I changing the subject about? Horrible. What was the subject? The subject uh, was bikes. Motorcycles. Uh, yep. Now this I is Charlie, my bike Paul, down. and you. Yeah, the three FXT refrigerator geeks. Where's the one with the audio that I was hearing that you were talking behind? I, I don't think Charlie knew that the that's, mic was on. Oh, that's Paul's. Oh, okay. 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 One of Paul, uh, not his last one, the one next to it, like right under his nose, trying to get under his nose. 
what I forget what that was called. Weekend at Charlie's or something like that. Yeah, Weekend at Charlie's. Oh my God! Look at that. <laughs> you guys got all the same uh, goggles. Yeah. He's hitting them. He yeah. hit him in the arm. I hit him a few times. One time I hit him square in the head. He's what? not even flinching. No, he's busy flying well, and concentrating, and I'm trying to distract him. I'm training him to be a good distracted pilot. pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, on it up pretty quick, area. though. I've seen, I've seen some of his videos from the beginning to where he's at now. And he's, oh, he's amazing. He's picked it up pretty he, quick. You he know why? Bad. Because he sits in, and he'll do 20, 30 batteries in one sitting. You in two I mean? days, he advanced to like air mode and yep. with no problem. Yep. Yeah. He did really good. Yeah. There's Brad. Brad, drone trains from Darlin. I was talking about you last night. Oof, what did I, I screw up, it. Matt? Uh, Adelaide. Adelaide. I was saying you, you were in him. Adelaide. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. Anyway, I figured I'd share that one. Harass you Charlie. Know. You've had time God. to fly. I haven't been having much time to fly lately. It, cause the weather's been hell, hasn't it? It's been garbage, man. <laughs> raining? Very clearly and schmear. Oh, dude, it's either extremely windy or really raining, or it's just bad for filming. <laughs> like, it's just dark and hazy, and it's, like, pointless to take shots, you know? Hmm. It has been storming here so bad. Let me see. Drone bum. Okay. <laughs> A good distracted pilot. <laughs> you need the audio up. It's really yeah. low audio. All right. Is there such a thing? I've got to get some. Uh, I was having a chat to Michael not long ago. I've got to. I've got to get some aerials for my FPV goggles. They're really shit. Is and it lost at Charlie's? Why don't you Did just you buy get a pair of goggles, mm. Matt? That's it. Lost. Lost at Charlie's. Okay. Yep. That's it. Oh, Matt, that's you didn't that get that new goggles. You got to hear the audio on this one. <laughs> Poor Charlie. Well, all, all about the audio. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, we have too much fun sometimes. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Was... I love it that you can pick on each other and have fun like that, man. I would wish there was people around here that would all day long you could fly with. Right, Anybody guys, have these? Wait, what's, what's that, Dan? What are the filters for the Hero Seven? Does anybody have these? The oh, NB. Oh, okay. All right, you got to listen to this one because oh. Carl. Carlos is playing with them on how to clean the drone. Charlie is taking Charlie's taking it seriously. What happened? <laughs> Wait. Let's do cross contamination. Yeah. I want to see my What's the best way to clean it, Charlie? It's a nice launch pad, Carlos. Right. Magnifying glass. Right. Hot swap. Rubbing alcohol. That's good. Yeah. Oh yeah! Very good. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! The inside first. Wow! With the Q-tip. Look at that. That's what you need the Q-tip for. Look, Charlie, am I, I am I doing look. it right, Charlie? Is this, this looks no like yours now. I do is it. this right? Am I doing it right? Look. No. Is it up and down or Inside left and right? out? But is it left and right movements or up and down? Whatever you feel comfortable. The point is you move from the inside out. <laughs> or out. The last thing you're doing is the first thing you're doing wrong. <laughs> Charlie gets so upset. <laughs> He's so serious. That would be the right way to do it. I appreciate method. that. It's like you tell me your method of flying. Yeah. Is he got ACD? I think. If you're going to make fun of me, don't ask. Wait, this on? Did you hear that? He didn't know we were recording him. That's excellent. It's not I'm like impressed that tiny hawk has that range. Wait, is this on? That's not drifting. Yeah, yeah, it got quite a bit of range. <laughs> is this right, Charlie? Is this on? <laughs> is this right? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh he's, like I'm there now. Oh, he's perfect. <laughs> Got my alcohol and my alcohol swab and instruction by Charlie. I mean, what else is better on a Memorial Day? And look how much better. Char it's going to make me fly better. 
It is. You're going to have to be more aerodynamic. Let me, let me clean the frap. <laughs> oh, that green frap we probably bought. Oh, you got two clean now. Okay. Okay. You're down at 3.4. You it over there. it went the down as soon as I took off. you were conspiring. What the hell did that go down to? I think well, I landed at 3.3. Yeah, it'll do that when you're flying, though. Depending if, if you give it a bit more throttle, it'll go, you know, low battery, low battery. As soon as you let the throttle yeah. go, it'll go yeah. back up again. So, yeah. 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 I took off at 4.2, I think. And as soon as I took off, it was like down to 3.5. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, so, so Dan I, say I, low I was, battery the whole flight. I was making a hammer that thing. <laughs> I gave him his own alcohol and Q tip. Dude, I said feel better. Yeah. You gotta fly them hard if you're gonna fly them, eh? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I'll stand them. My quad will just fall out of the sky, and I'm like, damn, I wasn't paying attention to the battery. Oh well. Yeah. He's taking care of your equipment. Yeah. Now I told him we're live. <laughs> that just means you're really having a good flight, dude, when you're not even paying attention to your battery. Yeah. Mm. Now we're picking on Charlie, telling him we're live. You've had him at 2.9 and still in the air? Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mine will start to fail at two point seven one. Yeah, that's what I was. I was that's what I said earlier in the show. Um, it was Dan I was talking about that will run his batteries under three. Yeah. Um, I've got the set. Any, of course, you can set that in beta flight anyway when she comes up on the warning. Um, but yeah, that that's who I was uh, referencing to. I didn't mention who it was, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I just send mine, bro. I don't like when they come down. I'm like, oh, that sucks. All right. Yeah, time to go get it. <laughs> I've had mine fall out of the sky a couple of times. Um, Who, whose video? I need to play someone's video. I forgot. Is it KB United? Paul, you've been flying now longer and long enough. Are you going to step up to like a five inch? He's got a three inch. I, oh, he's got a I, three inch five inch. Okay. Yeah, I got I got a three inch. So I've bashed a few times. Crashed it up good. Did you but hear yeah, the HD one? one? Did you hear right. anything from them? Emails, yeah. Paul. Not yet. It's been no. there since last Monday, so oh, a little okay. over a week. Yeah, he's got a yeah. three inch and a three inch uh, DJI. That seven inch. Okay. Holy shit! That looked blinged out there, Dan. What's that? Oh, the yeah. It's not really blinged out, bro. It's just got a lot of unique colors. I guess the color schemes on this one are interesting. It's got yeah. like violet motors, and I don't know. Kind of hard to see in this light, honestly, Oops. but. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. What is that? The GoPro That's, setup? It's the Marmot. It's the, this uh, is the one that I had out of the South Florida drone meet. What size is that? Five or six? It's five. It's six five. S five. Yeah. Then I got Roland Roland new uh pink little monster here, whatever the little purple thing. Whatever this Roland? is Roland sent you that? Actually it was EBRs who gave it to Roland to send me. So I got EBR. Oh, wow, well. all the way from the Netherlands, huh? Yep. Cool. Um, let, let me ask. Let me ask you something, right? How can I increase the angle of that camera? If it's all the way up, you can't. That's well, it. I mean, that off. I mean <laughs> that's him, you're going to have to customize it a little bit because <laughs> it because it um, it hits down the bottom there, right? Yeah. And also up the top. It uh, won't that's go telling me you have you have pilot skills. If it's the not, camera's up it's that not high. at least at a forty-five Fine, degree angle fast. now. So here's how to solve that. Can you Make take a file to it? Hold on, hold on. Make new holes, two new holes up further and to the top near end of the plastic and then screw them in. That way you have clearance on the bottom and the camera lens is sticking out beyond what it was so you can go past that point. Ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Don't, cra don't so crash lens first. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're putting your camera in more harm's way, but if you're looking for more angle, you got to create a new hole further out. I've got to get more angle, man, because I'm constantly looking at the bloody ground. Oh, yeah. You know? Definitely time to time to do that. But, yeah, you're not going to have the, the bottom clearance is what you're trying to get away from. The, Matt, it's not at a 45 now. It is, yeah. Do you have a little Dremel it's tool? It's harder than that. Hold, hold, hold the camera. I'm sorry. Hold the quad where the camera would be facing straight. What angle would it be? It's about 25. 20. I don't know. That's how yeah. it would be straight right there? That's yeah. about 25, 20. No, nah, that's about 45. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's yeah. about 45. All right, 43 and a half. Mike agrees with you. He says it's about 40 degrees. Stand yeah. Crazy, bro. And what am I flying at? 
They're flying good and some good speed well, that way. No. <laughs> well, these this thing cranks, right. mate. It, it and hammers, hammers. Yeah, yours is. Well, there you go. That's what I exactly right. And it's like your I GoPro like camera's that. in the way. Your mount. Your yeah, that's not straight. Wait, 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 wait. Let's What's that? It if you're if you have your camera up, your uh, do that again, again, Dan. Better light. Yeah, I'm trying to get it in some better light for but you. But turn it to the side, not forward. Okay, so, so if that, when that's I, not going straight. Right. The problem is, this is how I fly. I'm actually staring at the ground when I fly. I just have a little top end vision. That's as high as my camera can go. Now, if I level it out, this is it. But when I'm looking for that speed, dude, I'm buried, man. I can still see. I just can only see like the waist of somebody. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do you adjust yeah. the throttle on that, or just what's that? Yeah, did you, you have adjust to adjust the, the throttle. Pitch. Throttle your when you're, you know, yeah, I just push the pitch of the nose down further. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be staring at the ground, but if I know I'm just going in a straight line for a short period of time, it doesn't matter. That's you know, right, the GoPro yeah. at that point is almost straight. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so when you guys yeah, see me doing those really fast runs down the runway and stuff, I'm basically flying like this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was a bit of an issue on my last flight. It was just giving me the shits because I was just nailing it. And it was and because I, I was flying through a lot of trees and um, and I, I had very short distances between where I had to go and, and get around stuff. So I couldn't – I kept having to pull it up to have a look where the hell everything was. <laughs> That's why I only do that on straightaways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, so now that you caught the bu bug, you're not looking to increase like, like your next level. Like, well, well I will be because oh, because okay. eventually um, Sorry, I'll be in. You. No, you're right. Oh, so, do you know me? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, because I want to incorporate um, the uh, the footage uh, from the DJI stuff as well as uh, FPV, but it's got to be it's got to be you know H HD HD Ultra or some shit like that. Just let's um, go. Eddie, Eddie Nunez, I don't know if you guys have uh, if you subscribed to me. He's been doing a great job. Don't roll your eyes, Dan. Come on. Give people credit, man. you got to love the community. He's been doing a great job. He's in, He does a great job incorporating, incorporating GPS. And, Do you uh, take anything Dan says seriously? Ah, you know, it hurts me when I see him be such a hater, man. Car Carlos gets it. He knows I'm just trolling, dude. I'm Come just on. <laughs> Relax. Dan's having fun now. Carlos you don't have to defend Nunez. And if he doesn't like him, screw him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody takes me too serious. I don't get it, man. I don't know. It's so YouTube. You think they would learn already? Anyway. I've tried for years to teach him. I've heard of the name Eddie Nunes. Is that the guy you met in Long Island, Paul? I met him a couple of times, man. That's the guy, right? Yeah, he That's came out fun. He came he out to Wanto Park once. We did the video together at Cunningham and with the uh, electric? That's the guy. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah okay. that's him. Never met him, but yeah. his stuff I'm is good. Trying to find unlimited vertical, but there's yeah, so many videos. There. I'll put it on. He's, he's been flying a lot with Capture yeah. Life lately. Yeah. Please do. I'll, I'll find okay. it. Okay. Someone explain to me what F FTW stands for. Fuck, Fuck the world. world. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. Where you been, man? <laughs> I guess that's like trundle to him. I mean, to us. He's trundling, no. he's prancing, he's sashaying. Yeah. What video? Um, uh, to un unlimited to and throwing. I was lurking for that, by the way. <laughs> to and throwing, yes. Actually, I'll put his channel up on the. Uh, Dan was surprised you didn't know that, Matt. That's a that's yeah. a full send term right there that Dan would use. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, no, because you know what? As I, you know, I haven't been FPV that long. I thought it might have been some sort of fucking FPV term, you know, or whatever. Very that's, technical, well, very technical. Well, it, it is, it is. And it's, it's the just reason. Just it's the reason I go on Al's post on Facebook and I say crazy stuff about Lance authorization. Oh, I did see that. I laugh. <laughs> I know you're trolling. I know. <laughs> I know you're waiting. Also, waiting for a response. So if I respond, then you're gonna. Well, oh. Up. No, uh, I yeah, never. I know where you're going with it. Never expect a response. <laughs> I just post up to see how people are going to take it. It which tells one, me a lot about the character. Which one's better on his? I've I've watched you're, quite a few of his. Al, you're a heard. smart guy. You didn't respond. That was just smart. The old Al would have. Let's play this one. Like the the young Al. The the old Al would have jumped on his bike. 
She no, no, not at all. <laughs> Come around for a visit. The worst part about that is that's old Dan too. Yeah, there you go. Could have met in the middle. That's it, dude. Because at that time I was with Craven Moorhead and the Outlaws. I was riding down here for Radio Bar and Grill. That would have been about the time frame, man. How old are you, Al? I am going to be forty nine. Yeah. Okay. So when when when, when when would you consider old Al was around? Uh, old Al is down. Young Al is back in the twenties. All right. So young Al, twenties. Okay. Well, there would have been a bit of a bit of a difference. Where were you in your twenties? In the Bronx, Al? Uh, no, no. I was out here in college. When did you leave the Bronx? What age? I left uh, ninth grade. Oh, you were a little punk. Okay. I was a little punk. <laughs> you can't say you lived in the Bronx then. I could say that. Why couldn't I say that? I'm a native New Yorker, man. Uh, just I moved out of there when I was 15 years old. I know. Oh, my school. This video is this. Unlimited Vertical. His name is John from Canada. Canada. Nice guy. I wonder if Is that... he in Canada? I didn't realize that was Canada. Yeah, I like him. He's, he's good. Does good stuff. He always goes under that yellow gate. Right in between, too. Like and Not just back. under the gate. He goes in between the I gate. love the slow-mo yeah. pull-ups, though. I do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, great, great intros, always. Yeah. And and his outros, he does the same thing. He comes back, he shows them landing. Now, this is with the DVR, too. Yeah, on the right, yeah. That's what he sees. Small screen. See the power loops, man. I swear so I So you lost. see that? You see that? That doesn't look bad, man. No, not at all. I love the sound of these things uh, when you when you nail on the long. It's a sound only FPV pilots can appreciate. Paul, you have that video where Charlie's on my shoulders, close to you. Fantastic. Uh, let me look for it. I, mean, I don't know if it's here. Just no, curious. No. Um. Uh, does anybody know if I can play this audio? Because I don't know that, what that song was. I don't think no, so. No, it's, it's, copy, it's copyrighted music. Yeah. He's got in the, the chat here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Don't do it. It um, is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Dan, I used to get a kick out of my uh, my fuel my fuel uh, fixed wings, you know, when, when you when you throttle them in, man, it just makes them scream. Wait yep. a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. We forgot frolicking. 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 Somebody said that yesterday. To and fro, sashaying. sashaying. Yeah. What, um, are, what, are we, what are we doing here? Are we ass banging? We're ass banging. banging. Prancing and frolicking. We got six yeah. now. What exactly got- is ass <laughs> banging? Who, who's ass banging right now? Who's, who's uh, video? Well, Dan, Dan, you have to. This is unlimited vertical. Who oh, I just okay. subscribed to. I wasn't subscribed. So. Everybody. Right. Well, subscribed he's, he's ass banging right now. That's what this is considered. What is S banging? S banging is where you're basically in kind of a field and you have a lot of open space to work with and the occasional object to fly around. Other than that, you're S banging. It means you're just sending it, bro, in a, in a field and just going balls deep, really high, splitting. Like you're just, it's more of a freestyle go at everything, but mm. it's not really proximity in the slightest. Like most of this is just field flying. You know no, what I mean? It's not proximity. Yeah, right. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. called S banging. Well, I call it flying. Oh well, I'm I'm saying like the FPV terminology. If we were talking FPV, who comes stuff. out with that term? You're not I a real know. FPVer. What does I the S stand <laughs> for? I don't know. Sending it, bro. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's banging with something different in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> <laughs> these youngins these days. Like, now now they to call this S bang. <laughs> Chris Hope says, is that like crashing? S <laughs> crashing? S crashing. Send it crashing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would I never just never get it. off the ground with these. Uh, I would, yes, I would. you would. You'd be surprised. You just got to get used to it. Paul said the same thing, and now he's flying. Every problem. one of you guys almost in here has had said the same thing before you got started. Paulie's video where that thing comes off with the Star Wars music and just – Flops to the oh, was that Matt or Paul? Brian, that's Brian. Brian, B Mac, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'll take credit for it. (laughs) That thing killed me, killed me. It did. I watched it a million times. Did you see that, Dan? What's that? Uh, B Mac, where he had his um, dude. I get like nobody's notifications anymore. YouTube's just giving up. 
Yeah. Oh, all right. Fucking hilarious, mate. He actually <laughs> subscribed to a few people. He had. Um, he had. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> he caught that. <laughs> I am subscribed to everybody. Hundred percent participation. Yeah, that's what Alex. Hey Dan, Dan, don't take him seriously, mate. Everyone takes oh, him too seriously. Yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> were the first, you were the first. Jim's one a dick, to just but sometimes, sometimes Jim means shit. I can tell. There's, I can see it in his eyes. There's truth in jest. <laughs> there is truth in Jim's eyes sometimes. You're right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a fucker. <laughs> the Hope Meister. <laughs> This Beautiful. one is the best video ever made, bar none. It is hilarious. All of 21 seconds, people, so don't blink. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. is, this the, is this the dinging it's off the up. thing? Ding, ding. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. No? This, this is BMAC, not, uh, not Matt. Oh, mm. yeah, that was mine. <laughs> it's just like Matt. Yeah. Oh, BMAC made one. Oh, be, the big, the build-up, the build-up. Be careful playing this. Watch this the is on the oh, here we go. Plonk. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the whole video. Freaking amazing, I tell you. And there is a puddle, a puddle right there where it landed. Just missed it. The Just only puddle in the puddle. field. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? Where do you think he went wrong here, Dan? Throttle problem? Yeah. The motor didn't start. Talk, yeah. talk us through it, Dan. Was the color off? <laughs> the motor didn't start. <laughs> but what happened now? I can't even see it because it just like oh, interesting. It just fell really? down. It just comes off the table and just hits the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Either he didn't pitch up or uh, the motor. He didn't, didn't give it any gas, bro. Yeah. You gotta yeah. give it some juice. It's supposed to go up. It well, got, it got it enough just to hover over the table, right? And that was and as, soon as, as soon as he removed the element of the table, it didn't have lift anymore because it wasn't giving it power. <laughs> <laughs> that that was just, I laughed my ass off so hard when I saw that. It was a Sunday. It was like you know a bad day. You know, shit was just. And then I watched that. I, I had to call him. I watched it twenty one times before I even called him. I said that <laughs> that is just friggin' fantastic. Uh, that's amazing. I love that. You didn't, oh, did you find the video, the Paul? One. Yes, I did. Oh, cool. All Look right, at this so, fat okay. prick on my shoulders. I think I got it there, Paul. Is this it? Yeah. This is it. So Charlie, go. Cra Charlie crashed into a tree. <laughs> oh, you got to go up and get it? He does. Get oh, up there, your mother. But he uses me as a ladder. Oh, this it's, looks... Oh yeah, balls in the mouth. No shoes. Oh my god. Oh, that would hurt so bad if you slipped. Yeah, yeah. If you what? If he fell? Hit the yeah, toes. If, without his without his shoes on, that would suck, man. Just ripped up by the tree bark. I would have caught him on the bounce. And now you see my car back there. Paul actually walks to my car, goes in my trunk, and gets something while this prick's on my shoulders. <laughs> I ran. <laughs> I he, ran. He, went and, you ran. he went and got the ladder. <laughs> yeah, right. He got this extension handle that I have that I use for the fish tanks. Look, he was a little stick. <laughs> he was a stick, bro. <laughs> was it like just out of reach? Where is it? That's great. Uh, yeah, right just, on the line. Just, just out of reach. That stick couldn't reach it. Paul, you that brought the it. dead body <laughs> stick from, from Stand By Me, bro. <laughs> Wasn't you boys want to see a dead body? You gave him the dead body stick. That was perfect. Man, mine went into a tree the other day, and it took me about 20 minutes to try and knock it down with a uh, stick. So I knocked it around and did a bit of shit, and then I armed it, and I just had the shits. It came out in the end. You don't have turtle mode on it? Um, well, it was in the yeah. tree, hanging by a branch. Oh, uh, okay. You'd be yeah, surprised. But... Sometimes it wiggles out. I had it at the cemetery I was at with Paul a few weeks back. I had it in the tree for, what, 10 or 15 minutes, Paul? Trying yeah. to get it out, and then finally yeah. I just tried it, and it came out. Hey, Mike, yeah. I've been out there with 12-foot ladders, which are extension ladders. <laughs> I've been up 24 feet, had my 13-year-old granddaughter climb the tree. She, nobody could get to the top of this damn tree. I had to call a bucket truck. 
Yeah, at our age, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, shit. It gets to that point, the drone is staying in the tree. I'm leaving. No, not I can no, rebuild. Not, not these matrice. <laughs> not those matrice. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. I'm saying an FPV quad, if it's up there, it's cheaper to build than order a truck to come out. Yeah. The pop hung uh, up? Actually, Michael's got a good one. He carries a six foot to 12 foot extension pole. There you go. You know what, that is a good these, idea. Like, they have these ropes with like sandbags at the end. So you yeah. could... I just take a basketball with me. That's really I have a good. five gallon bucket in the car. I throw at it. I just chuck a basketball away. Yeah, they work. Work. It bounces all the way down off everything. <laughs> Even if you miss, it hits five other things on the way. Yeah, yeah, dead right. Yeah. Not with a GoPro on it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it'd be clogging that. Trevor, can you hear me? us? The basketball, so it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, man. How you going, Trev? Frozen. I'm frozen. Good, I'm here. Okay. okay. I'm going to pop out and film like... Oh, no. Trev, it's good to see you, man. The good, bomb. thanks, man. Is that Manic? Yeah, it there is. is. They're magic. Hey, buddy. You're back. You hear me, How you You're hopping up the steps now, good? Yeah, I had a specialist arrive, and he's. I'm getting. Uh, there's a booking in for rehab uh, for my prosthetic leg as soon as it uh, comes in. So that's good news, and and he's happy. Everything's going well. Well, that's good to hear. Ah, that's a hell of a thing you're going through, man. Yeah. So right now, yeah. so I'm walking around and getting. It's it's just different. That's all. It's not divine me. It's just I've got to just do a different lifestyle. That's all. Yeah, yeah I know that feeling, buddy. Different lifestyle. That's all. I mean, it's a wake up call that way. But uh, yeah, you got to. It's so like cigarettes. Give, and, they give you a new and diet alcohol. to follow. They give you a diet to follow. Oh, I told the di dietitian to leave the room yesterday. Why? And, and I didn't use those terms. As I said, it's a crock of shit because at what? the end of the day, it comes down to me what I put in my mouth. Well, that's what I'm saying. Did they give you a diet? No, not it? yet. Not yet, but uh, uh, they're only just uh, advising what and what is available in hospital and what my needs can be and how I can improve it and what things I may... Um, like I have chocolate milkshakes and stuff like that, but they're high protein ones and things like that. That's fine. But um, some of the, I said, this, I said it's a sort of crock of shit because the hospital food, all the sweets and whatnot, has got so high in sugar, right. so high in carbohydrates because they want carbohydrates and um, protein, and um, most of the proteins taste like shit. So I rely on peanut butter on bread um, because most of the food, the hospital food's crap. Yeah, so the bread is a carb. I've got a, yeah, I've got like a... Stay like, away from carbs. I caught myself trundling to the coffee pot and I quickly sashayed and added a frolic at the end. Oh, I don't know then, if you can see that. <laughs> Just and to then get once, you, that? once you had it, you had to to and fro back, otherwise you'd spill it. There's no video of that. No, I would have spilled. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can see that. See up there? Yeah, what's that? Uh, what we, what it's two kilos, of pe two kilos of peanut butter up on the fridge. Why? I use it for weightlifting in my room, oh, and okay. I use it on the bread to eat. Don't eat, <laughs> the, hospital, don't eat bread. the hospital food's crap. I only use it on bread. You need some bacon and eggs all day. you got to eat something more. Uh, they they won't let me. Him. They won't let me have bacon and eggs. Why? What's their Why? reason? Yeah. Uh, but the, no hams or anything like that. They won't allow oh, any ham have... product. Okay. okay. So uh, you know, Muslim but they'll give, scr it... they'll give scrambled eggs. It's a kosher there. hospital. It's a kosher Man. hospital. Yeah, that's the word. I, to try. Oh, I don't know. But kosher, oh, wow. kosher eat ham. To no, try. they don't. 
Forever. Yes, they no, do. It's no, the Muslims who don't. don't eat it. Forever. Jews Jews do not, kosher, ham. no ham. Jews don't no eat pork, ham. You mean? No shellfish. No, no pork, fish. nothing. Good nothing but a pig. Fish without scales. I, I they think... won't allow peanut, peanut products because of uh, allergies. That's why I'll go bring my own tub in. Sense. So, Trevor, I'm with you on this, man. When I go to the hospital, I'm very restricted diets here, bud. So I'm with you, but I'm assuming that they're more worried about sodium content. Is no, that not the case? No. Sugar. No, they because they put salt on your plate okay. in satchels, which is the cheapest product that you can get, and that got the highest sodium uh, content than any other type of uh, salt. So and you're not, eating uh, peanut just, butter just with raw. high potassium levels. They're not worried about the – Only a slice – the uh, yeah, the uh, fluid buildup. What are we looking at? Content. No, oh, I have, I have oh, four tablets. Just a flight. Well, I take water oh, tablets. Water pills too, man. For that, but uh, I think after. Yeah, I have four, meals. four. Uh, I have forty mils, mm -hmm. so I have ten, 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 and ten. Yeah. Um, two in the morning and two yeah, at yeah. twelve o'clock. Nice track. Where is and it? that takes all the fluid out. This is Paulie mm -hmm. flying. Yes, it's by the high school by me. It's How your, come you got 12 volts in there? It's a 3S. It's he's a 3S bird, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Come yeah, on, Jim. Uh, stick with the program, buddy. Hey. Oh, Trevor, let me tell you this, Trevor. All I've you been eating me. for the last six or eight weeks is meat, bacon, eggs, and I've lost 20 pounds. So don't let them fool you with Good the fat. You. Eat fat, eat meat. Eat bacon, meat eggs, stay away from carbs, and you'll be good. Guarantee you. Carlos, yeah, well, that's gonna, all they really allow you. Send me that keto diet. I will. I'll eat. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can eat that too. Oh, they're all over YouTube, too. Just Google. Yeah, but you got to be careful. I'll send you two links of two people that are Whoa. pretty good. Mitch had suggested to who's, me. Who's flying right now? Who was that? Paul. No, Paul. that's me. Paul. Mr. Paul Adventure. Mom. Paul, let me give you some advice, man. Don't hang that power loop so long, buddy. You were driving yourself into the ground. You stayed on the throttle so hard during that loop. Oh, really? Go back a bit. Go back a bit. All uh, right. Yeah, I'm curious. Watch how fast you come down from this power loop. I tell him to get off the throttles. That was a I nice tap, by the way. All right. So listen. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Here it comes. Throttle up, right? Start your run. Start pulling up. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Pull back. Yep, let up. Yep. You were right, driving right, right. yourself into the ground there. You had stayed on the throttle so long you were pulling back. Is that true? You had to pull back on it, Paulie? His I hang always time? have to pull back on it, yeah. Yeah, his hang time should have been a lot more than that with the height that he had. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so because he was so close ah, to yeah. earth when he came down, it means he was in the throttle way too long during his uh, loop. I don't think he's actually learned how to throw the quad completely yet. No, well, it's it's tough because you. Wow, it's pretty windy. Too, I, I'm thinking, all right, I'm still going up. You know, and yeah. look at that wind. Wow. Let me let me ask you something, right? Now I haven't watched any. Basically, I, have, I haven't watched any tutorials on how to fly FPV and all this sort of shit. So I just fl fly it how I think. Now, when I do flips and all that sort of shit, quick ones. I drop the throttle as soon as I flip it. Is that correct? And then go back to my normal throttle. It, it well, really the one thing you missed is you punch it right before you flip it, and then you drop it. So the punch, right. drop, flip, the, and then, and then the, you recover. The, well, no. Okay, so it goes punch, flip, and then recover. Right. Right. Because it wanted, you want it to look like you didn't lose any altitude, which is what the punch is for. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you're punching yeah. it straight up, and then you're letting it and flip, forward. and then no, you're no, laying no. off the throttle. You're so always you're going forward, so you're punching it up, maybe up like a 45 real quick. So you're basically just giving it a throttle blip and then dropping throttle, going into it, and then bringing the throttle back on. Right. right. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm sort of doing the right thing. I don't really punch it much before I do it because you will lose attitude as soon as you actually, I actually have a perfect video that shows rolls in that format. I think it was the one where I said the FPV or the drone community is getting into FPV. There's one where I pull three rolls. And you can listen to the throttle input that I give mm. it. Mm. I do like watching videos that you can hear the motors. Yes. Um, uh, that's for you, sure. That's a massive, massive. Matt, they, have have they have stick cam videos. 
when I hear the motors, though, it's like so much wind noise with it. It's not just the motors. I get yeah, all but this. you gotta you gotta see you gotta hear through that. Just just look at it as background noise, man. Yeah, but I, I hear other people's, and I hear pretty much just the motors, though. It's what are like, you talking you know, about hearing now? What did I miss? The so motors. he's doing the motors, the wind. I think I think a lot of it depends on the camera people are using. Um, mm. I, I you know it's like most most GoPros actually have really good wind. Uh, management like right, right. software built into them. Right, um, the, the older right. GoPros, that's the problem is when you have an older GoPro, it normally doesn't have noise cancellation when it comes to wind. Like it doesn't even make the attempt. It just, all you hear is like motor and lots of. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. right. I was very that's surprised actually that I could, I could hear the motors of my, both the, 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 the tiny Hawks, um, the freestyle and, and the normal two. Yeah. Um, but I've got a Excuse massive me. problem with uh, with static. It, it is so freaking loud. An easy thing to do is put duct tape over the microphone holes before you fly. Hmm. You don't allow duct wind into that little hole, that little crevice. To make it hole? Hole. Well, is there is there a microphone on this? Is the there? microphone on Not on the, the microphone Emacs. On a, on I can a hear the throttle. I can hear the throttle on this. In your in your video. In the video, but the static in it is incredible. Well, no, right. okay, so you're recording DVR. The DVR is picking up audio sourcing as well. It's picking up the static. Like you're not you're not gonna cut that out unless you post edit. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. a lot of DVRs are that way. There's nothing you can really do about it. It just creates noise when you fly, you know? Mm -hmm. Go behind mm. the tree or something. Mm. And but what trees what, are even worse? If you're flying with an HD camera like a GoPro, then you can just put duct tape over the microphone holes, and that'll cut out all the wind. Hey, Matt, did you know that if you fly behind a wet tree, you get more interference than a dry tree? A wet tree? Yep. The water effect. No. Yeah, the water. You're trying to penetrate through water. It's the same as, like, being underwater. So, so like, no. after, a fresh, after a fresh rain, if you went and tried to fly behind a patch of trees... You're going to get more static. ...significant amount of static versus not... <clears throat> okay. You see, you went home learning something today, other than sachet and all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically, you basically want it to float when it, once it's up at its peak, right? Correct. Yes. That's the what they mean by throwing it. You throw it up in the air, you do your maneuver, and then you, you know, right. Recover. We we call that hang time. Basically, you oh, want yeah. to power punch it really hard and then let out of the throttle and start your maneuver. The moment you let out of the throttle is when you start your maneuver. Yep. Mm. You'll still be traveling upwards while you're doing your maneuver, and then you're coming out of it, and you're inertia. Yeah, it just looks really smooth, mm. or it should. <laughs> it's done correctly. Hey, I'll dude, practice. I want to tell you, with the peanut butter, you can actually get too much potassium and and stop your heart. I, I had that really too much. Really? I had that actually, yeah, I had that actually done on a blood test. Holy I was shit. having peanut butter, two slices of peanut butter bread at night for a snack. And I get my blood tested every month because they have to make sure I'm taking those medications, see? Mm. Uh, because there's too many drug addicts out there in the world. So I wound up with too high of a, a potassium level, which will stop your heart. That's why I asked him why he had two kilograms of peanut butter sitting up there. Well, hopefully it'll last him a while. It does. It lasts a while. Just be careful, man. I live on broth and tea whenever I go to the hospital now, so you're lucky to be eating anything at all. Oh, Justin just did that trust test. He says it's very easy. What the is one a trust the, test? The FAA. That FAA. We started oh. the show with it. I thought you would. I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to play trust me with little girls. <laughs> you remember and that game, Paul? Yes. Sure. Oh, you remember that game too? Yes. Too? I used yeah. to. I used to just say. I used to grab and say, "Ah, fuck it, get to the point." <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. My girlfriend just pulled in. I'm getting out of here. Uh oh, she's got the whip on you, huh? Hey, Dane. Right, I haven't seen. She bumped her head roller skating and went to the hospital today. This is the first time I get to see her since she got out. Yikes. I know. Okay, man. You have yourself a good, uh, good. Uh, what are you night time there, isn't it? Have a good night, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's ten fifteen. So. Hi, hey, Dan. Yo. Thanks for scooting on in. <laughs> ah! 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 You'll be scooting on out of here now. Boy out. Now cafe Dan. your ass on out. Yep. <laughs> Dan, it's good to have you, Dan. Oh, hey, Jesus. My good wife, Dan. Do you, do you think he's band. sashaying right now or frolicking? 
more of a, more of a limp with or, or, sashay. Or tea bagging. Or tea oh, bagging. Tea no, bagging. He has to have nuts for that. I would say <laughs> he'd be he'd be in a quick trot at the moment. <laughs> Fred. Fred. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It's a sick crowd. And we like it that way. <laughs> I think Dan is too big to uh, sashay. What was I that? can see him more of a trundle. What was that in your white van, Carlos? I'm sorry, but that's Paul's. Ha ha. <laughs> she wants a scooter boy, scooter boy fuel injection. <laughs> you heard him folks earlier he's only Listen, running on carbs what did she say she said she wouldn't ride the scooter which yeah. means she wouldn't be seen riding the scooter oh yeah so, so no home movies yeah, you'd okay. rather be on eight wheels than two what are you um, trying to say she's more man than Dan uh, you just said it I didn't say it He's, he's sashaying now. <laughs> the frolicking comes later. <laughs> test it live. It takes about 10 minutes to do the trust test, which is the recreational test for pilots. All pilots have to do now. Um, I don't know. Should we, should we play that? What exactly happens if they... Uh, Paul, have you ever been approached by any kind of FAA... Top person ever, ever. I, no. I once I had half a Karen, maybe. Uh, yeah. What? Say that again. A Karen, a Karen. A Karen. Oh, oh, a Karen. Yeah, yeah, and it was but a it guy. Wasn't a cop. <laughs> no, it wasn't a cop. never, yeah. never. I, I, I got any, good, Paul. A, 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 oh, Karen is just, uh, you know, yeah, asshole. Oh, it was know, a lady way back when that just. Yeah. Stick a nose in, like, oh, you shouldn't be flying here, whatever. You know, I don't think it was under a drone how the actual Karen thing came out, but that's what we refer to as a Karen. Of some of these, just like, I, I want to yeah. get your uh, opinion on, on you guys. What's the stupidest thing you have seen? I'll start. Here's a guy with a Phantom Four in a park, the park we were at, Carlos. Right. Okay. He's at that park, it's full of kids. And he's holding up his Phantom 4 controller and his phone falls off. Jeez. I said, I said, motherfucker, if you don't even know how to put the phone in, get out of here now. Mm. And he did. And he was, you know, he was our age. He wasn't, yeah. he was no kid. Mm. That, Didn't that even know me. to take the clips out and put the phone in to hold it in. <laughs> That's like someone people. who gets a, you know, you get a drone for Christmas and, I, oh, I'll just go fly. Oh, we did that, that at the uh, park. Yeah. This guy's flying. And I go, how high are you? He goes, 800 feet. I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you're only allowed four. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Chinese guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is, this, is, this is my one. You've heard it before, probably, when I picked up a secondhand drone. And uh, thanks, Justin. You'll get yours on the live stream. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, <laughs> um, he, uh, I bought a drone off him, and uh, he set his. Um, he, he's only allowed four hundred feet, so he set his drone to four hundred. That was four hundred freaking meters. Oh, right? that's right. So, <laughs> so Twelve hundred. He's taking uh, up to four hundred. Totally he, legal. Like, yeah. Twelve thousand feet. <laughs> Twelve hundred plus. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I've seen videos though of people way up in the sky. Oh yeah. yeah. People up, way up in the clouds, up over. Crazy. But I mean, if you're in the middle of nowhere, I could understand. Like, you know, there's parts of Australia, I'm sure, that don't see planes yeah. flying over. Right? Oh, yeah. They're as big as the Florida. United States, land size wise. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. I mean, you know, you can. You ever see a know. map of all the plane traffic going over the United States? So I don't think there's a spot that doesn't have a plane eventually. Yeah, that's right. right. Flight 24, in isn't a, it? But lucky they're in a different airspace. Mm. Well, they're 30,000 yeah. feet high, so yeah, it doesn't really True. mean anything to... Hey, who started that Karen thing? <coughs> Not Karen. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Kate. Kate did? Kate, Kate hated Karen, so that's where that came from? That test is so easy, here. it's kind of pointless. Justin, pop back on here and t tell us about uh, you know, because 
Bob took the test, but his internet really sucks, so he won't come on. So is this a hobbyist test you have to take? <laughs> the have to take it's, now? it's the Probably recreational Google test. The answers. You don't have to. I'm, sh I'm no, sure. I'm just saying if you wanted to. That's, they're really just teaching you, not testing you. Right. They teach right. You Carlos, you take, you. Did, has Carlos taken the test yet? No. Rule breaker? No. Yep. Uh -huh. You see, every time I you give into these things, you're making it easier. There you go. <laughs> That. <laughs> Can't give into the uh, into the. Uh, oh, I'm laying on the bed. I don't feel good. Ice. Oh, your stomach really did start hurting you, huh? What the hell did you eat today? What are we talking about? What happened? Uh, Justin, who was on earlier, oh, he said he jumped off because his stomach started hurting him so bad. You know, that's probably because his wife kicked his ass after last night's stream with Matt. Mm, she used the phone book. Kick the ball. No visible. Just feeling it in the all gut. internal injuries. All hey, internal. Hey, was Carlos. That the West, Wisconsin buttercream conversation. What do you? <laughs> oh my God! You brought it up. The Green Bay butter churner. <laughs> oh go. no! Is that that taco thing? Yeah, that's another taco. one. Oh, the volcano gosh. taco. Yeah. Get over, honey. <laughs> I got Taco Bell for dinner tonight. Yeah. Oh. That's nasty. <laughs> The things that people come up with, man. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Mike? What's going on, people? Hi. Is my audio working? Yeah. Hey, Mike. And I was just checking. I like did a complete like reset on my computer today. I was tired of some files, this and that. Clean some things up, reset Easy a bunch. Of shit. So I'm resetting it all up. So I just figured I'd pop in and. Yeah. Okay. Third Eye View took that test too. It was so easy a third grader could pass it. So what's the benefits of taking that test? I don't. Education. You have to take it as a as a. a I could, Mike, what's going on with your microphone? Education. That's the benefit. Education. It yeah, keeps it, yourself it. on the back. I'm not sure why. It's you probably get a boy after installing or something. That's why I wanted to come on now. I'm like, well, I better check it out. And make sure my shit's working. I saw <laughs> the the line keep going through it. When we first yeah. started the stream, mine was muted. I don't know what StreamYard does have to yeah, time, I don't to know. be honest with you. It, I, I set it up and whatnot, wow. and it's working, and I don't know. We'll if, if I'm a 107, can I go over right now and, and, and take that test so we can show it? Bob wow. Casey says it's a can't-fail test. Go for it. Jim, I have a yeah, question. Yeah. What if you're 107? Do you have to take that test? No. <laughs> okay. No, you don't. No, but could you to show it? That's what yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. Can try it. I, let me see here. All right. Of course, it can happen. Uh, dude, you like, you know, you don't it it would be to fail on your own live stream, though. Yeah, well, like, that that's a 107 <laughs> pilot who like makes money for a living. Off this it's shit. kind of a it's kind of a good <laughs> test. Just say it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> could be bad. <laughs> All right, so James, come on. Oh, it's not going to automatically fill out for me? Why are you going to the Pilot Institute, not the FAA? I wait, pay attention now. What you it is. It's from this. They list 16 places to go to. So uh, I picked the Pilot Institute. Because right. I'll be damned if I'm going to that idiot at the drone you, who doesn't know a damn thing about commercial flights. They're on one of the links there? They don't have a no Pilot 101? Anytime drone you wants to learn how to fly, they can come over by me. I'll teach them how to fly. Uh, Mike, that train, is that lemon lava? What's that? Lemon uh, lava? Gelato? What oh. are you talking about? No. Who's got gelato? No. no, I'm just asking him a question. I had some, some Jim Beam. I, I didn't do oh, it. That. I thought you were talking about the Everclear. No, oh, I was Everclear. talking about something else, but Good I think stuff. it went past everybody's head. That's all right. Um, Gotta make up no, your username. I got a little bud here, but the lotto is what I've got going on. It okay, says it's for. Asking. Wait a minute the now. I got the lotto, yeah. You can now add yourself as a group expert. What the? F Facebook just popped up. You can now add yourself as a group expert. Okay. I'm certified, motherfucker. Be an expert. <laughs> I'm Facebook certified. What the hell, is Facebook talking about? I'm not even on it. <laughs> um. All right, so the, I have the list of the sixteen places. Let me ask Not you something. Have you guys? I have you guys heard of half these things? 
Let me share that. I haven't heard of half these places. Valertis. Going from the bottom. Valertis Aerospace Corp. University of Arizona. UAB coach. coach. Well, I've heard of University of Arizona. Yeah, I've heard of that. Cross Flight Sky Solutions. Tactical Aviation. I don't Proctologist Incorporated. <laughs> the only thing I've heard of so far is Pilot. Incorporated. <laughs> this is pretty close. <laughs> the AMA. Look at this. The Boy Scouts of America. That's Jim, Boy Scouts. Jim, click on the I, I've heard of them. I wouldn't click Here on those guys. What? Just your educational right. foundation. They'll take your information. Wonder why they're on the Boy Scouts. can't be humble, Steve. Who are they? Who are they? No, you I'm know. just asking. HSU, click it. I'm just curious. My daughter went to Humboldt State. I'm clicking it. It's probably like some step program that they've got going on. Uh, yeah, see, they want you to create an account. Zone before you fly, lower altitude. Yes, they can send you know, like hundreds of emails. And spam you all the time. And yet, they're you telling you to use the before you fly app. Provides you information about airspace. Oh, and does not offer Jim, any. read Bob Casey's uh, last input there. All right, let's put it up. It will be deleted after you of the course will will result in certification of completion. Completion of what? The that's trust the test. That shit right there, dude. <laughs> certification of completion. It doesn't give you any certification or license. No, what's the benefit of it? It's no license. Tap on the shoulder. And, and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good boy. You're learning. Yeah, exactly. You get a data boy. Well, wait a minute. I'm shocked you haven't talked about it, brother. I am shocked by that. How does the FAA even know that you took the test then? Right. Does, the paper I mean, I does the FAA even care that, that you took a test through them? I mean, are they like some like FAA sponsored bullshit that like the FAA is going to like. Oh man, we give you props because you took a certification, so we'll give you like a discount on your like. You, you only need like seventy percent instead of seventy five percent or something. What? What are they? I don't know. Let's do this. Do it. Make up a fictitious account. Yeah, dude, it's easy to create a Gmail account. Just Third Eye View says you save, you, you print can, your certificate and save it. So I'm assuming you just do that and put it in your, I don't know, quad box backpack. We go out flying, someone questions you, you can pull that out right. and say, yeah. I'm a good citizen. Oh, you I can say, I left it at home. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Let me fly and go away. I, was like, I, like I that. registered for a recreational pilot. The FAA gives you that option to be able to get one of those hard cards. I got oh, the, wait, what did I do wrong? Woke up. <laughs> I did something wrong. I see that screen all the time. <laughs> now what did you I guess click I've... on? Oh, so your I... session has timed out. Please log in again. Okay. So you weren't fast enough. What the hell did I use as my username? James. And password. I have the same password. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of dots here. I guess everybody who takes the test has to have a print password is incorrect or you didn't use the right name. Uh, Invalid login. Let's see if they emailed me. There's a stream. Matt, you don't have to go through this stuff in Australia, I take it, right? No, they didn't yeah. email me. That's beautiful. Yeah, I would I would say use the email account that you use to log in. Whatever email, email you're gonna have your stuff sent to as the username. Yet. Oh, yeah, I didn't laugh. do that. The fact that oh, you can fly yeah, national dude. parks, dude, that's amazing. Yeah, it maybe. We're not logging in now. You're yeah, creating an account. User. It's a good a site here. Like uh, no. created. This is the, it provides education and testing for recreational flyers on important safety and regulation information. If you fly your drone recreationally under the exception, no, they don't have that anymore. Uh, the 336. They got rid of that. You must pass the test before you fly. What? They got rid of the 336. God damn it. Is this free? You can't believe yes. that's the stuff on the internet. It's, it's the FAA's website. 
It's even worse. All lowercase, Bob <laughs> says. Okay. It's government. It's crooked. <laughs> Carlos. Oh <my> <laughs> Carlos don't trust anybody. Not our government. Are you kidding me? All right. I, I, look, I spelled my name wrong. I don't trust anything government either, man. No, oh, I would be, be foolish to. There's uh, two M's in your name there, Jim. All right, let's see if we can log in now. Nope, we still can't log in. Okay, I'm an officially an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you passed the test. I keep getting the same <laughs> warning. Click on I keep getting the same warning that I use multiple passwords on the same account on different accounts. Maybe uh, Jim, uh, me. Google's like telling me I need to check my password. Good to go. Browsing history. Like, oh, dude, you use the same shit. <laughs> You're vulnerable. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. Now here's the thing. Do you under the username? I put a name. I put James. You are complicating this. Uh oh, I'm overcomplicating it. Bob, yeah. Bob's killing me. Forgot you. Not Jim. It's not. Where's Vinci. that link? <laughs> got a three thousand page manual to get into the website. Click on the blue box. That's thirty eight hundred pages to use, sir. Hey, can somebody else just create a free account real quick and show us what it's all about? All right, look. Do I have? To, it says username, not email address. Right. Bob says it has to have numbers. I'm just going to put James. J -A -M -E -S. James. C but put a number or two, just yeah. in case. Okay. Uh, uh, your birth 047. Your birth James year. 047. Now enter your first name, James. That is my last name. Password. Okay. Now I hit create my account. Okay. Yeah, why not? Keep it. I'm never coming back. Uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Now, where's the course? Next lesson. You probably got to go to your email and and yeah, verify. I think we're taking the test here, boys. Oh, right to that, huh? The requirements of the exception for limited... What do we got to know? Flight? Hey, yeah, guys, I'm going to nick off. I've got a sh shit to do oh, today. Man. Man, well, thanks. Man. Now that I started this shit. Yeah, good on you. She's in Australia. Yeah, yeah, you got him going. Way to go, man! I thought, yeah, it was it was piquing That's our, my this interest. Is our problem. <laughs> yeah. Trundle away. <laughs> gonna, you better go to the Jay. Out right now, man. He's oh. like all over it. Here's another one, Jim. I'm going to flitter, and I flitter off. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh flitter. <laughs> That's better than uh, frolic. Frolic. Yeah. You're yeah. adding a sachet with a yeah. plant. Yeah, oh, yeah, and it's like flicker in order to flutter. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm flittering. Off. Like a, a, a prance is kind of like a scamper, right? A prance is like half a skip. So, what do I do? Well, do I have to press on any of that? That is a scamper. What, oh, what do you do to take the test? Take care, Take care, 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 care flitter. Next lesson. Bye, <laughs> Matt. Take care, See you later. <laughs> Keep smiling. Wait a minute. Am I doing this right? I'm not seeing any lessons here. Let's go. Next lesson. <laughs> That's what she said. Am I doing it right? All right. Well, now what? Let's just get to the point, shall we, kids? Uh, it says click on a box. Click on Sign each in, box and then account. go to the next lesson. That's what uh, I'm wailing through these lessons here. Uh, okay. Let's go to next lesson. Recreational you flyers uh, should not contact the ACC. Next lesson. All right, let's just get to the test, shall we? What? Where in God's name is the there test? There you go. There it is, right there. Recreational, recreational flyer is a person who only flies in uh, AUSA for um, UAS for fun. May be paid for. Okay, fun. Is allowed to fly. Wait. Well, yeah, okay. Check. Next question. A recreational flyer is a person who only flies for fun. Didn't we just do that? Yeah. It says yes. I thought okay. you did. Now I got to hit next question. A recreational flyer does not need so an let's airspace authorization. So go through all the multiple choices for your, for your viewers. A I recreational haven't. flyer does not need an airspace authorization in which type of airspace? Uncontrolled. Next. Uncontrolled. 
A recreational flyer does not need airspace authorization. Wait, next question. I got to keep hitting that. What can be expected during a presidential visit or a major sporting event, a TFR? Local law enforcement will send a <laughs> temporary flight restriction. There you go. No changes. There you go. Next question. How can a recreational flyer find information about airspace? You just go to before you fly. Or the contact, uh, check the like, FAA like right, service. Right, yeah. Yeah. Check next. All right. Now, next question. How can a recreational flyer get an airspace authorization? Call law enforcement. Call the nearest mm -hmm. tower. Go through the link. Thank you very much. Sure Next. Uh, in the what area controlled airspace be normally found? Near airports. All airspace is on controlled airspace. <laughs> mm, that's so hard. <laughs> Next Small question. What is the maximum altitude a drone can fly above the ground in uncontrolled airspace? What is it, boys? 1,200. 1,200 feet, 700 feet, or 400 feet? 400 feet above. 400 feet what? Above altitude? AGL. Above ground. <laughs> AGL. Means <above ground. laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Now, do I get, now what do I get? You passed with 100%. Woohoo! Give you a thumbs Good up. Job. Good job. Print now it what? out, baby. Now what? Print it. Did you get a certificate, right? So hey, next le maybe next le lesson we'll go to your certificate. You get to okay. skip right past the FAA exam when they come out with it. I've already taken maybe FAA not. exams. No, I'm saying when you get the recreational flyer exam, when they come out with it for this new system that they're all going to do, you know, <laughs> with remote pilot and all that stuff, remote. How I, many tests do I have to take here, guys? Am I doing right. this? <laughs> Three more. Four, Four tests. tests. You're only doing uh, practice tests. What should, what? They're all just knowledge checks, different. man. They're not actual tests. They're just knowledge checks. What should a recreational flyer do to reduce the chance of an accident with another aircraft? Well, use your fucking head. <laughs> yeah. Use <laughs> FPV, first person stuff. view, capable at all times, contact the aircraft, uh, about bullshit, avoid distractions, and be aware of your surroundings. There you go. I like that answer. Next question. Uh, true or false? Checking your drone before and after each flight is a good idea because in time it will damage will be identified. True. Yeah, because screws might just fall out while you're flying along. Otherwise, if your name is Matt, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is responsible for making sure that a drone does not fly too high? That'd be you. Yeah, really. The pilot in control. Where is it? The community-based overnight. The person flying the drone. Thank you very much. Let's go on to next. Who is responsible for the drone in flight? That'd be your ass. The recreational flyer. Check. Next. A recreational flyer should be aware that some medications can affect their ability to fly. Yes. Yes, that's right. Marijuana <laughs> makes me fly better. Don't take downers. <laughs> <laughs> A recreational flyer must be aware. I know nothing. <laughs> That windy conditions can. They didn't can. go 420 feet. I get a zone uh, fly away, man. <laughs> yeah, the legal limit's 420. No distraction. 420. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a bunch of lessons here, boys. I hope you guys all studied. Uh, okay. We're learning. A recreational flyer must follow the safety guidelines developed by a community-based organization produced by the FAA local office, approved by the state city council. You must fly by a CBO. Next question. A recreational flyer must be like, to, like the AMA or any community-based organization that follows the rules of the FAA. A recreational flyer must always keep a drone within visual line of sight, true. Uh, when in flight, a drone must give way to manned aircraft. Uh, oh, if the aircraft is below 400 feet, I'm taking it right at his ass. <laughs> at all times. If the manned aircraft is below 400 feet, if the aircraft is <laughs> above the drone, at all times. <laughs> Using a visual observer allows a recreational flyer to fly a drone beyond visual line of sight. Even if they're hiding in the bushes. That is false because <laughs> you're not allowed to go beyond. Well, yes, you can. Yeah. 
Yes, you can. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our first incorrect answer, folks. Our using, first incorrect answer. Using a Jim visual observer human. does not allow a recreational flyer to operate beyond or go around a building or do all those trees. The visual observer has visual line of sight during the flight, so therefore it would have been false. Uh, you're right. You're right. I agree with that. Because we were talking about that with the 107 pilots. If oh. you have visual observers, each, each hunt observer has visual line of sight on the drone, and you are in direct communication with each visual observer. Yes. According to the regulations. So, therefore, each observer along the way, you can go as far. All right. All right. When using first person view, the visual observer must. The visual observer? Yeah, he's supposed the to have one even with view. FPV. Person view, FPV. Keep the drone uh, sight at all times. Be located next to the recreational pilot. What good would that no. do? It, all of the above. Be located next to the recreational flyer using the... Flyer. What, that's, a, that's a trick question, but I'm yeah, going to say all of the above. Yeah, I was going to say C. I was going to say C, all of the above. Well, why they would you be located... Because so if that's the case. Because you're in, in, why are you located in, in, in next to the pilot? The Mike, uh, Mike, why are you located next to the recreational flyer using yeah, the TV? So you could talk to him and tell him you're screwing right. up. Turn yeah. right, turn um, left. Look out, there's people on the sidewalk. It, aren't that's you, why I said it was kind of a tricky question because aren't you assuming, really if I've got my if I've got my cellular phone sitting next to me and we're talking back and forth and you're assuming here that every FPV pilot is wearing goggles. You have to. First person view is goggles. That's goggles on. What, a, what about the recreational pilot just flying his drone? But they didn't well, ask that. That's line of sight view. flying. If you don't have goggles on, it's not so first person view. view. It's just line of sight flying. It, first that person so that, view this cuts out first person flying view an airplane. putting on the goggles and actually flying from the drone. And this that's cuts where out the, all the remote our pilot stuff was having stipulations where we were trying to get the FPV part of it into the regulations with this remote ID and everything and get stipulations because there were no stipulations for the FPV part of it. Because FPV essentially you're in more view of the drone through the Force. goggles yeah. 99% of the time than your actual visual observer is. So they're well, sitting that. through. What about when the people walk up behind you and tap you on the shoulder right. like Captain right. Milan right. and observer. Captain Candono? And that's where a, a visual observer is nice to have. Yeah. They can just but, <laughs> but now, the drone rides yeah, that person that. If yeah, you do this, it, you're cutting out. And that's You're saying that doing. everybody's wearing goggles. No. Well, as an FPV pilot, though, they're saying in, in the question, we're going FPV, first person view. That means goggles is what they stipulated as. Okay, you so got all goggles on. You cannot visually look at the drone except from the camera view. That's so first person this view. is not for RC pilots at all. Well, it would be if they're using goggles and using like your, your yeah, the United uh, said mapping. Uh, different. You know what I mean? Your head tracking and stuff. If they're looking in the goggles and flying through head tracking, that could be first person view for, for them as well. For RC like airplanes and whatnot, you can go FPV with those as well. I so, thought maybe United said it. isn't looking at your phone in camera drones yeah. also FPV. No, I was just going to well, say it's not FPV. Well, see, look, they're yeah. showing you a Mavic 2 Pro right there. The thing is with, with looking at your monitor and the drone, you're supposed to be able to be able to glance back and forth between the two. You're not supposed to concentrate on the monitor for any more than a certain amount of time. Who said? You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of like driving a car, looking in your mirrors or this or that. They recommend you don't, for long periods of time, you can glance down and see what the view is, but you're always supposed to be able to glance back up and see that drone at all times. 
Uh, anyway, before continue, flying Joe. your drone for the first time, before flying your drone for the first time, it's a good idea to notify the people you will be flying over. Yeah. Read the read the manual, manufacturer safety, safety information, information and file it. File a TFR. I'm the manufacturer. I built this motherfucker. What are you talking about? I built it, dude. Notify the it's seventy-five people you pounds. You will fly it over. Like, uh, well, you're not allowed to fly over people, pound, right? You're not allowed that's to fly legal? over people, so that ain't the answer. Right, that's the wrong answer. The right. manufacturer's safety manual. They don't all have them. They should, aren't they supposed to? Well. Well, well, your, does, well, does I, I manufactured my on? drone, Carlos. I built it. No, but they're not talking about that. Uh, well, they're talking they about are. GPS it's a recreational here. flyer. It's a recreational yeah, it's, flyer. This is not specific. Seven. This is well, recreational. This is build, hobby, all that shit. GPS. So and, you yeah, built it. How is it a manufacturer safety information going to help you? Let's see what it says. It doesn't. Let's see what it says. That's correct. Really? Read the manufacturer's safety I told you. information. I was going to say, because you can't file a TFR. Right. Like, yeah, you, the other options are void. But well, that's why that's, that's the still, best answer. That's still, that's still the wrong answer. It's the best answer, though. If asked, correct. if asked, what must a recreational flyer provide to law enforcement or the FAA? Proof of mm -hmm. passing the test, I proof do. of registration, all of the above. Both. I guess they want Both. you to say all of the above now. Yep. Yep. Since what date does this come change. effective? I think they, they're going to hand you a recreational pilot's license now? The certificate. You got to print it out. It's a certificate. The FAA registration number is required to display it on the outside of the drone. Yes. Inside part, on the drone's control station, inside, on the outside. On the outside. Anywhere where it's visible and all drones weigh more than 0.5 pounds must be registered with the FAA. True. Uh, so they want it specifically on the outside now. You can't put it on like where the battery inserts into a, a Phantom Ford. You can't put that number on the inside of there. And why not? So What's the, the reason behind that? Look at it. What's the reason behind that? I don't get it. That's Remember silly. to print out a copy and keep the copy. So I guess if you're ever asked if you took the test, you got a copy. Yes, I will have home. the certificate immediately. Who's going to ask you if you have, have taken well, the test? Here's the question. You have a police, police? officer. He at, let's pretend he asked you for the thing and you don't have it. What summons is he going to write? What do you think the summons would be? What do you think, Al? You'd I don't have know to if make, you get one. You'd have to make something up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is all would, pointless. I, I think he would tell you to land it and take off, if that's anything, it. at the worst. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're not going to run. Ah, whatever. Let's see what this thing even looks like. There's no FAA police out there. It's under no, they can't. D they don't have the to do that. Unless somebody snitches on you, post it to YouTube or they, something like that. They're trying that's to defund the, the police. Can you download the money on FAA? a study guide for us, too, there, Jim? Give us a link to the PDF study guide. What study guide? You just you just took the test. <laughs> no, you just took the test. We all have to go back and do <laughs> one of our emails too. <laughs> no, That's why you we don't. Go back and replay his <laughs> screen. There you go, right there. <laughs> Copy and paste that. Just you can go back and watch his, the, the replay and fucking take the test. We're good. <laughs> yeah, you all just took the test on. I hope line. we get the same questions. <laughs> Well, it's all instructional. Yeah, They're not looking to screw you up at all. Yeah. Jim, don't it, don't close yeah, the page until you download it. There was don't only a couple of questions that were really tricky as far as the, what we used to go by as far as FPV and recreational compared to what there is now, like the you know visual observer type stuff. But hey, Paul, even if you miss a couple, you're still good anyway. Paul, from here. How many of these tests have you taken? Zero. Four. Oh, I, mean, I, have a question. I have a question, Paul. How many tests are you going to take? Zero. Exactly. I, I actually started studying for the 107, 
And then I thought, well, why? I, I don't ever plan on doing this mon for money, monetizing. But, it, but it's not Before hard. you can monetize your YouTube channel and make money out like out the other weasels out there. market, man. Can I get rid of this now, guys? Maybe, maybe eventually Did if I ever want to monetize it, YouTube. But that's gonna, my monetizing YouTube is way off. And before I, I'm going to get 400,000 watch hours or 4,000, however many you need. You make videos on how professional audio and just have knuckleheads so watching. We got this hour. kid that's up here in Michigan. We had the, the floods up here in Sanford. He's like 22, 23 years old, right? He's got a drone. He had his 107. He was playing around. At least I think he's got his 107. I hope he does because otherwise. He... But anyway, he's been taking these pictures and doing documentaries on these dams. He's got people sending him all kinds of money. He's put up four fucking live cameras so far <laughs> of the funds that he's got. He's got a, a Sony AS7. This is that. You know what I mean? He's got all the goodies and stuff. Off of this listen, stuff. listen. I don't agree with that test yeah. because it cuts out the recreational uh, RC plane flyers. That one questionnaire assumes that everybody is wearing goggles, yet they're showing mm. different drones. I'm never going to wear a goggle with the Mavic 2 Pro. Right. I, I don't like that answer. What about all the RC plane pilots? That they're out. Dro drone equity. Do they have? The RC plane pilots were here way before we were. Why are we cutting them out of this whole ball game? Because they're stationed in a certain specific area, and their birds probably don't fly as far. And Other than Philly drone, like, do you guys ours. know of anybody who's received a fine from the FAA or any kind of uh, air police? No. no. No, right? No. Okay. Well, there was one that went across uh, New York City, Sky something. It was a company. They kept going across New York City taking pictures, and they got fined from the FAA. Gotcha. I'm now I mean, a certified uh, not recreational any pilot. people other than Philly Drone Life. I, I just, I don't know. We get cops driving by us. We, I fly around the cops. They don't bother you. They really don't. You saw that video, right, Jim, where I was flying around the cops? Yeah. 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 They didn't have any yeah. issue. And he was sitting in the middle of the park. Right there in front of them. I wasn't hiding. They weren't bitching and moaning. Everybody was happy. Listen, you Billy know didn't get stopped by cops. He got stopped because the FAA is watching his YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Somebody had to have Somebody. reported him. Somebody oh, yeah, of course. ratted him out. Yeah, but he oh, did it so many times. He had he got letters from the FAA in 2018. Because somebody rapped him out, though. In That's 2018. What I'm, but I'm saying because somebody ratted him out for some reason. Yeah. Well, it just probably takes one time. And if you don't respond yeah. to the letters, it's like right. So. right, right. They're going to be looking at you. But you know yeah. that the FAA wasn't on the rooftop watching, you know, drone right. watching and no. looking for uh, yeah, they probably didn't even know anything about it. They are not looking to screw you in any way, shape, or form. They just yep. want you to know the the, the rules. So and all the, the rules are not that hard, are they? No. You don't want to hurt people. That's right. what it's all about. And what they're really trying to stop with this beyond visual line of sight, it's a dangerous game, boys. The battery only lasts how long? And you're going to go beyond visual line of sight? That's not right. The best battery I have on the, on the Matrice 210 lasts 29 minutes. That's a half hour in the friggin' air. I don't need it 15 minutes away from me. You What's know, beyond the visual line of sight for you, Jim? Because it varies with everybody. If I fly so, five so minutes away from me, even a minute away from me, I'm not going to see this thing with my eyes. Night, Brent. Night, Brent. How far before you lose sight of the drone, Jim? Have you Honestly? Ever test, like how many thousands of feet? Uh, Not about, even. About 1,500 feet, feet okay. it's gone, yeah. Wow, you can see that far, huh? On a Matrice, you can. The big yeah, ass Matrice. Say the, bigger, yeah. the bigger bird you can see. Wow. And that's if you keep your eye on it the whole yes. time. If you look away and come back, it's like, where the hell is it? That Mavic 2 Pro kills me. Every time I look away, if I look at the screen yeah. and then go try and find it, I got to yeah. get it into a cloud or something where I can make the... To see the gray, yeah. some contrast. Yeah. If I yep. told you I could see the Evo 2 Pro uh, about 3,000 feet out, would you think I'm bullshit? Yep. No, if you got good <laughs> eyesight and you're keeping so it that orange. orange between person. And I would say if you have the lights on it too, that would help even on a bright day. Right. That would help. Because those lights, those Arc 5 lights are friggin' good. 
Uh, Mike Kenny says they have to take it as UAS pilots. So, yeah, the RC pilots have to take it too. That's why I thought that one question was, wasn't fair. You're assuming that everybody's wearing goggles. And statistically, I mean, factually speaking, if you take your eyes off the drone, you don't have line of sight. And how many times when we're flying are we looking at our screen? Oh, Did you have this strobe, right? The firehouse? Yes, the ARC-5. I yeah. always have issues trying to get that thing to, fl to flicker. Oh, that's probably operator. you got to click it twice. Okay. That's yeah, there you go. Yeah, with it this on the drone, you can see pretty far in the day. Huh? Yes. At yes. night, it's even farther. You're not really seeing the drone. You're seeing a the light then, right? You're seeing a, depending where you put it to, uh, Carlos, because if you put yeah. it on top, you ain't going to be able to see it. Right. you got to right? put it on back. You have to put, put it on the back or on the leg or underneath the belly if you can. I keep them. I have a bunch of them, and I keep them in this so they don't get any. The new ones are waterproof. The new ones come in that, like Al just showed you, are in this enclosed case. But the old style are five like a chip. are like this. It they're looks just, like the, uh, uh, the the VTX on a, on a PV drone. Yes. Yeah, yes. It looks like I was right. And this and these things are brighter than hell. I'll just show you. I'm not going to blind you guys out. But they are uh, very good to put one. I put Velcro on the back of all of them, and I'll stick it on the back of the drone, left and right. I have red and green because I always know when I'm seeing the red that it's coming back to me. Red right returning. If you have been boating, you keep the the buoy on your right side. I have two arc firehouse strobes on my air too. That's a, it's a good idea. It, now I remember I had bought the original. I showed you guys the original ones actually sucked. Thirteen ninety nine for that single light, the strobe on light, terrible. I got a cheaper battery. one too, Jim. The Ulanzi. I bought this one. Yeah, the they're not one. bright, right? They're kind of shitty. This one right here, I don't think it's good. Ulanzi hold one. hold it there for a second, brother. I got you. So, you know, yep, it's yep. And it, it's not bright one. enough. No, it's not bright enough. You can barely, you can't even see it. I tried it before and I was laughing. Hmm. Yeah, that, I don't know. yeah, it's weak. Yeah. The other ones on top is just so like uh, aircraft or something can see you above it uh, or, or they'll be seeing you down below. The only thing I really worry about around here is we have medical helicopters that go from the hospital, always go in a straight line because they like to follow the beach line, the water line, and they'll fly down, fly down to Vero or something like that and pick up a patient. I have uh, white on the back and on the top and then red on the, uh, the right and green on the left. Same as an aircraft. The aircraft uh, navigation lighting started at all. But that just helps me to tell me what, what side of the drone I'm looking at. If I'm seeing red, I know it's circling around to the right. That's all. White's good enough. If you can see the white and bring it back to you, 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 did, you did right. Yeah, Bob Casey uses all white. Um, Mike yeah, says, he, Mike says you can't see that many 300 feet away. I believe without that. lights. Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing's tiny. And we all lie to ourselves. Oh yeah, that's within visual line of sight. I've had some times I'm like, where the hell is it? And I have to look on the on the screen and see that in the lower left you get that radar on satellite. the O4. The satellite up. Oh, the satellite view. It has a little radar that shows an arrow of which way the drone is actually going. Yep. Thank you God for that. The map? Do you use the radar or the map? I use the radar. Use the radar. Yeah, to come home. It, it brings it. I can see it coming back to me or going away from me. Doesn't it leave like leave like a bread bread crumb line? Right? Yeah. 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 On, it does that. that on the map, doesn't it, Al? Yeah, it does it on the map. It does it on the map part when uh, you see the red tracking. This is what I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to fly this this weekend. Hi, right, boys. I'm else. out of here, guys. 
Hey, thanks, Paul. Well, really have a care, baby. Have Gentlemen, have a, have a wonderful evening. Have a have wonderful home. evening. Paul, uh, before, uh, I'll ask you later. It's not that important. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Here's a classic. <laughs> Carlos, I thought you didn't fly GPS drones. I don't. This belongs to one of my clients, and it's been his closet for over two oh, yeah. years, and I keep wow. bothering him. I, I told him, dude, give me – well, not dude. <laughs> I said, give me the drone, and let me see what works and what doesn't. So I charged three of the batteries. Only two took. One didn't. Nice. His uh, controller worked, but now, you know, what good is a drone in the freaking closet? None. Exactly. Did he kick it down? Did he give it to you? Yeah, I brought it home. Oh, sweet. I'll, I'll bring it back to him, uh, you know, whenever, Wednesday, next week sometime. But I'm, I'm going to try to fly it this weekend with Charlie, Mafia Man. Which one is it? Colors? Mavic Air. Okay. That's a good drone, too. It, you know, goes up in the air, flies, does sport mode. That thing is no, still you're, solid. You're not into camera pictures at all, Carlos? No. At all? Even, I, I'll be honest, when I first bought a drone, I was just looking for something that I can make go up in the air. <laughs> I always found that fascinating. I used to get those little uh, Brooks Brothers or what was the name of that other store, the expensive place? Oh, Sharper and, Image? Sharper Image. And I used to get their little, oh, uh, yeah. little helicopters or anything that flew. <coughs> was, you know, I liked flying. I got a couple of Sharper Image. So you know, my first, mistake, I I got, like one. my first mistake was going to Walmart and buying the cheap-ass drones because yeah. that's enough to turn you off of flying <laughs> drones. They're so bad. <laughs> They are so bad. Connection <laughs> like that alone is enough to turn you off. Whose video have toys. we got here? I'm not sure. so, this is a uh, Tawas Point. Tawas. Michigan. Oh, I like so, that park. Is that, that a park? Nice. Right there? It's a state park and lighthouse. They got like a like you know like concession type thing or whatever, so you can get all the memorabilia and all that and they got a beach and a beach house and all that that's a so hell of a beach house. Day, i rode up to this point and the wife drove up and we met up and hung what? out for a little while and checked out the lighthouse out there that is a big park hey jim have you talked that's to k-pack like about on. next year who is that his name k-pack or whatever his name is b-mac Buddy. brian no, no, no. The guy that with the hotels by you. Oh, Talk KP. Yeah, yeah. PK. KP. Oh, PK. PK. So he's Indian. Back over here. Oh, okay. That, that right there. Keep reminding every the now and then that we're coming. That's all the campgrounds part of the state park as well there, Jim. I'm going to put a couple of hundred down, Carlos. Uh, <laughs> Let me know so, if you need any uh, help. Yeah, no, just so it's locked in. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I hear you, but even if, if your money's tied up, let me know. Yeah. So don't I'll forget, uh, April 28th to May 1st, anywhere in between there, if you guys want to come down, yep, we're all getting together again. Well, yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know about you, Jim, but I had a great time that trip. I enjoyed it. I didn't from, fly once. From beginning to end, I was not bored. Yeah, Jim just turned out and had a good time, man. I, I just came to hang, and I... And it was a local area. He's seen all the stuff through Jones, so I <laughs> was just hanging out, meet and greet. It was, uh, it was so great fun, to though. meet you guys and turn and you guys are really real, the same as you are here. You are in person. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't no do anybody else any good. Right. No fake. I only do me. No fake bullshit. Nope. No, and I think everybody got along, even the midget. Thank I you very even, much. I was Bob. even nice to that midget when he came. Frick. Yeah, I think. Um, that uh, I, when I came on, there was eight hours left to the Amazon Prime days. And the only thing I could find that I was going to buy was the SD card. I was going to say the SD cards. Are probably I saw it. There was an Insignia 4K smart TV for like $219. Yep, I saw that. But yeah. they, they don't do HDR10. They don't do Dolby. They, they're not bright enough. So I don't. Listen, after That's I bought a, this one and made the mistake I did, I'm not buying another one till it's. A real one. So yeah, that's funny. I have a 27 inch screen. I have a 13 inch screen, and I have a 40 some odd screen. And I always end up watching on my phone. So, so Jim, the reason I put this video up is this is the Mavic Mini 2 with 2.7 60 frames per second. Shot it auto mode. Right. Cloudy day, overcast kind of day. 
the storm was moving in on Sunday, like about two hours after I got home, it started raining. Everybody <laughs> say so good night. Pay for a bike ride, but say good night to Bob Casey, gentlemen. Yeah, good night, Bob. Video. Hey, Mike, this is the one you rode the bike to, right? Yeah. So uh, me and the wife rode up. I rode up on the bike, and she followed behind on the car because I'm okay. still not licensed, so I'm not supposed to have a rider. So we're still working towards that. <laughs> but what you put the, your drone the in bike the up? For, it was two hours up, hour and forty-seven minutes up, and then hung out, took some video real quick, hung out the area, and then drove back. He's really loving that bike, man. Oh, it's great. Mike, hey, good question oh, for you. Out. The test to pass, do they make you do the U-turn, like slow circles to the left, slow circles to the yeah, right, the yeah. figure eight and all the, that? The main four is like um, avoid obstacles. So you, you, you get up. We're talking about the motorcycle hour, test now, guys. No, the, the motorcycle test. Gear right. motorcycle. And avoid an obstacle left or right. Do a U-turn in, I think it's three parking space. So it's like 18 feet, something yeah. like that. And then um, a couple of other things, but oh, yeah, pretty, it's, pretty it's basic. Gonna be, it shouldn't be too difficult from what I've written already. No, it's easy. Now I have a quick question. When they do the test, do you have a helmet with a uh, walkie-talkie and the lady behind you no. in the car no. No, tells you what know. to do? No. no. So next week, I'll try to get some details and see what we can do as far as like maybe some like phone video or something like that maybe a go down on the handlebar but it, down here they have yeah, it, you they do it you take bike. it you take it on a buell that they provide yep. and you you do it in their parking lot of the harley dealer and you go through cones so this is at the local uh community college yeah it's 50 bucks for the course but is it the motorcycle safety course? Is yeah, it's the that basic Michigan motorcycle that. safety course. They used to have one in the uh, so racetrack. Nine a.m. to one p.m. Monday through Friday next. Oh week. my God! Yeah, it's. Uh, I could do it on a weekend, but it'd take the whole weekend. But this is voluntarily. I mean, you could just ride yourself, go take the test, and yeah, I could. Day, I right? could go down to the DMV, okay. sign up, and say, "Okay, uh, I just want to take the test, and right. I think I'm good enough, and can or, take the test." But or can you get an auto school so to provide the a bike? advantage of taking the course? Is that when you go through your That's insurance and this and that and the other thing, you get discounts through that because you've taken the actual courses. The motorcycle so, insurance is very cheap. That's basically what it's for. Uh, I've already got the <laughs> I've actually premiere. heard here in California the motorcycle riders course is easier than the course at, uh, to yeah. get your license and, at and the DMV. So, yeah. Another way I've heard is uh, so like 150cc is legal for the freeways here in Michigan. Oh, man. So just get you a 150cc scooter that doesn't shift gears. <laughs> and go down to the DMV and take the course there, <laughs> take the test, and you don't have to shift or this or that. It's real easy. They let you do that park. with a scooter, too. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's 150 cc, it'll go on the, cool. on the freeway. 128 cc. Like a scooter. You get your M1 license if you ride a three uh, a three yeah. wheeler. Look yeah. at your M1. You know you the top. The test. <laughs> you remember those three wheel scooters that police used to ride in? Uh, Oh no, you weren't here that long. Never mind. They had no. They had these like enclosed little. Oh, oh, there's the parking scooters. tickets. I remember them. Yeah, but they used to have to take motorcycle licenses to get that, to ride those. Because of the CC of the bike. It, it was just, it was weird. The funny looking. Yeah. It's like you got punished. <laughs> you got one of those to write tickets. Yeah, so Michigan over 150 CC, you can go on the freeway. So anything you can take on the freeway, you can take the motorcycle safety course with. Here you are. Um, um, just get you a shooter that doesn't shift. And, you right know. quick. This is the Amazon Prime days. Uh, How many hours left? I might buy some. Three hours. Cards. There's three hours left. Look at these cards now, okay? These are the SanDisk 128 gigabyte cards. U3, right? U3, V30, 4K, $19.89 each. <laughs> I remember Costco had a deal on the same same ones, two for like uh, close to forty. It was like thirty nine ninety nine. So if you go to your checkout, like 
dollars to check like out. 64 gig, I think they were. Place the order. Yeah, I got the 64 as myself, Mike. Forty-two dollars. Like them for like a hundred. Oh, you just bought it, Jim? Just bought it. Forty-two dollars nice. for two of them. Yeah, yeah. The one twenty-eight's are good. So you got three hours and forty-eight minutes left, guys. Wow. Anything else I looked at that we are actually interested in is not part of the Prime Day. Yeah. Oh, really? All, all this nonsense. Sucks, Evo 2 Pro batteries are on sale on Prime Day. The only thing Prime is really two fifteen batteries uh, and parts fast. On Prime Day. Oh, it's good for. Really? Shipping parts fast. Al? Evo yeah. 2 Pro batteries? Evo 2 Pro batteries were. I don't know if they still are. They may have ran out. And also Live Deck. Live Deck was listed at four or something. What is, what is, what is Live Deck? It allows you to uh, connect Wi-Fi uh, from your Autel Evo to any monitor. Oh. Through, wow. uh, HDMI, uh, HDMI hookup. Mm. Uh, kind of like what, what uh, uh, this guy has, a monitor, but yeah. not wired in there. Like Here, I had bought this design. thing. I had bought this thing by accident, and I have it sitting in the house right now. I, I was real because I bought another hundred and twenty, uh, um, another six terabyte my book drive, and I have it sitting down here now. Because look, I'll show you if I go to this. Uh, Jim, go, real quick, not to interrupt. You, I have but, all uh, these drives. Yeah. Captured Life Connection said, "Be careful and make sure it's sold by Scandisk it's because they have a lot of bootleg." <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, to, it's not to enter. Uh, let's see. That's funny. Sold by. Sold by. It wasn't on purpose. It's just instinct. It yeah, but says, you're locked in, though. If you're prime, you you can always return it anytime you want. Yeah. It says right there <laughs> in micro SD memory cards by Sandisk. There you go. Well, sold sold by Scandis. Extreme or better? They're the best. I have ultras are well, ultras are worse than the extreme. Extreme is the best. Yeah, I think extreme. Is the well, these said, are the read, the, read the reviews. They're only nineteen dollars. Yeah. For one twenty six. Uh, is great. Only one hundred twenty eight gig, dude. I bought a sixty four for like fifteen bucks. What? Where? Ago. The reviews are all good. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's two hundred and six thousand reviews. Jesus! I shows you three A two, V thirty. Dude, three everything reports. shows good on the pictures right there. That's fucking. That's everything you need for four. He said. He said to check the seller, not the brand. I thought I said that earlier. Right. Yeah, and it I'm may take trying you. Trying to find the seller. It should be right there on the right as you go down. Hey, does it say the that description? The transfer disc. This transfer disc is coming with it. Oh, transfer yes, speeds. Of, no, it just normally you just get that speed. adapter. Yeah, just the card. Yeah, it, it just says transfer speeds. It doesn't say the adapter comes with it. All right, where does it say who's selling it to you? Right there, right underneath the actual product. Right. Yeah. It says visit it, scan disc store. It's straight scan disc, dude. It's visit the scan disc store. Above that. Above that, uh, just above the four, five stars, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. That's who's the seller. That's ScanDisk itself, dude. Good to go. That's the manufacturer. And yeah, if you got Prime and you bought it through Prime, you have no worries. Yeah, that's right. true. You can always bring it back. But 1989, my God, you can't go wrong. For 128 gig, how long? I've paid $40 for for uh, these kind of cards. When I buy A Data Premier cards, Premier One, they were a hundred and thirty dollars. I got them for a hundred and three. Wow! And and I got two stolen in the mail. They cut a. I took a razor blade, cut the back of the package, took them out of the package, and just delivered me the empty package. Oh damn! Yeah, uh, Amazon, you're, you're warrantied all the way though. Yep. Your ass is covered. Now I got to sign out. Yeah. But you got three hours, three and a half hours left to get that deal. And that's, that's a, a good hell of a deal. deal. Right there, yeah. Yeah. You can't go wrong on that. No, I think I just bought like four of them for like a hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. I, I that's about, about right. To go or something like that. Stevie There's some says stores that are matching the prime deal. deals, though. I heard. 
I don't know what exactly. I'm going to have to pull them out of the drones to figure out if they were 128 or 64, but the, it might have been 128. When I looked at the 32 or the 64 gigabyte card, the 64s were 14. They were $15. So it's so like. Somebody why, got five of those for 100. Why not buy the, the 128s? You know? Micro Center drops the price to $19 as well. It, I found that anything under 64, you end up running out a little bit if you leave them in there a little long, depending on what your video is. I have a question for you guys. Anything over 64, you end up leaving them in there too long, and you uh, take the chance of losing a lot of shit. No, I don't do that, though. I, I take them right. out. I refresh question, all the time. A question for you. Uh, <laughs> Look at the, Look at the you, comments. Uh, from who? What? I got a 50 pack. Floppies. <laughs> he said floppies. How many times can you rewrite before the disc goes bad or it doesn't? I have not had Never them fail. Issue. Never an issue? I've only trashed like two SD cards ever. One <laughs> was because the drone crashed and it like Corrupted. split the SD card. Oh, so when the read. Yeah. And the other one was just like some cheap, like eight megabyte or eight gig, like slow, fucking cheap that I got, like with a printer or something like that. And it crashed. Isn't that yeah. what you threw that into your uh, really killed an SD card? Isn't that what you threw into the transmitter, like an eight gigabyte? Yeah, usually an eight gig, yeah. something like that, because you don't need a lot of space on the transmitter. Right. No, you don't want to waste the card. Your, uh, yeah, you need to hold your profiles for your quads and the basics. That's it. And amber. Sounds. Yeah, yeah. amber sounds. <laughs> Some of those are crazy. Jody is saying they had 250. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell was that? 256 25. gigabytes for 25 bucks. I did not see more. Another 128 bucks. Now that I would not buy. That's just too much for me. Hey, Marcel, what's up? I didn't see you there. Sorry. Where? It's my chat chat. I do live chat. Live chat. It's, the and it's amazing how fast the time goes with your pricks. The beam I know. <laughs> like my buddy fucking plummet FPV. Oh, shit. Shit. That's mad. He gets a few beers in him and he like, next thing you know, he's got like, I got like 25 motors, dude. I got them for like five bucks a piece or something. Oh, Mike, whatever happened to the printers? Yeah. Dude, he's never got them. They're still in shipping. What? Really? They're still in shipping. But they should yeah, honor that, never right? Got them. They should uh, honor it. What, 120 or $1. twenty or something like that he paid for 11 printers? 10 printers? Like 11, 11 cents a piece or some shit. <laughs> They Are those Samsung cards any good? I couldn't Jim? tell. Jim? Uh, Mike Nisa? I see them all this morning. The green and white ones. You ever see those? The Samsung cards. 256. Yeah, I've seen them, but I've never cards. seen anybody I've use them. I've never bought them. them. I've never yeah. bought them before. I don't know I anybody who's yeah. used them. Yeah, take the only Samsung cards I ever used came with the phone or some shit. You know what I mean? Otherwise, yeah, I always use fucking SanDisk. Good. I did buy those like Image Mates or whatever from SanDisk. They're like some new type uh -oh. that come out. We're being stalked. But they're I not, uh, the U rating is not nearly as high as the stalking I just, I just got this in my Facebook Messenger. Uh -oh. oh, nice. We're being stalked. Okay. Who sent it? Brian, check the seller. <laughs> BMAC visuals. I wonder about that, guys. Hey, BMAC visuals uh, video on the Triple Tech was a good video. I, I took the plunge. I, I bought one. He was first on that, and everybody started coming out with videos after that. And I'm like, Brian, you know, you should promote that thing or something. And he was like, ah, I don't care. Yeah, I did a Google search and his video came up. It was like the second one every time I did a Google search on it. I what is? Did you say ProTech before? Triple Tech. It's a uh, it's a tablet. Oh, I okay. use it for all the drones. I got you. 
Is that seven yeah, inch? It's a high tech tablet that's supposed to be good for drones. It's twelve hundred nits. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's twelve hundred nits. And how much does something good. like that cost? But uh, I'll this tell you what, I got for six fifty. What? Yeah. No. So I got the Galaxy S seven for a, like a tablet. It's like a twelve and a half inch screen. Dude, I'll tell you what, it sucks for fucking viewing as far as color. You know the. Are you getting the green screen? The green. Dude, it's like so dim, I can hardly see shit. I think it throttles down when uh, all these it. tablets do. They throttle down when it starts to get yeah, hot. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a cover thing. for it and see if I can bring it back up or whatever. But I'm looking for Brian's <coughs> video on the Triple Tech. I'm on his page. I do like the colorization on it when it's like just playing a video or something. Oh, know, it's got, dude, it's fucking clear. But, but yeah, why am I drawing it? Playing with them. Iowa uh, ISOs and hundred and seventy three dollars. That's it. Crazy. For what is the for, uh, one, one terabyte. terabyte? Yeah. No, that's is that an SSD? Because I bought a two a six terabyte regular hard drive for one twenty six. Yeah, you can get like four terabytes all day long at, at Walmart for like ninety bucks right now. You're talking about like. An external, uh, external yeah, drive. External yeah. Drive. I think I bought my terabyte for like eighty some odd years ago. Well, well, the drone video apparently it's gone. Likes to eat your shit because I'm sitting here with uh, seventy five drives now, all hooked to this friggin' laptop. Look at it. <laughs> so this is the one I just added. See, it says new volume. That's. And I took all the videos that were off this SSD and started spreading them around. You just don't go through hard uh, your hard drives to see what's in it that you don't need and kind of dump yeah. it? Yeah. No, I no, keep you all video. You keep all your stuff. Good. All the really? video. Really? Yep. Wow. You never know. You never know when you're going to use I used to dump a bunch of shit. And then I got Quick question. Do you title all your videos and you know what to look for? No. Okay. No, I gotta be honest with you. A lot of them say DJI zero zero one. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so yep. to me, so, so the way I usually do it, I do it by the date. I just put in a date of a the, good idea. the video upload, whatever I pull from the SD card. Yeah, I just put that in a date, and then I categorize it in folders by whatever drone I pull it from. And then I tried doing that too. The SD part. <laughs> Some days you get to, lazy. I used to fill them up, but now I just keep the SD card. I keep everything and just uh, like buy a new SD card and just keep going. Let's see what happens when you get lazy. Well, I know that one. Extra. Well, if the title's too long on the folder, all you're going to see is dot, dot, dot afterwards. Right? So it's all going to look the same. I don't know if you guys like typing, but I don't. Al, can no. you type without looking at the keyboard? Uh, yeah, if I'm fucking around, I'm doing like being stupid, but no, I'm not very fluent. Oh, look, what are these videos? They wouldn't be with theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chicken pecker. My wife's like 87 words, and I'm like, like 13 or some shit. <laughs> oh, that's my magenta day. We don't I was want to show say, that. I'm loving the magenta cement. We don't want to show that magenta. Let's see what these are. My internet crapped out for a second. But this is what I'm talking about. I already I have got tons of files with just Yep, mine nope. says pick zero 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 one zero. I don't know what they are. That's why I try to do it by date, like at least keep them categorized by date. That's so a good idea. Like, I might do that. This is an FPV day or something like that. So like oh. even if I put on my DJI, it's gonna have a date to the oh. to the file name. For the main file, so I know what day it was taken. You on. could do that. Also, can't you star them or something like that? I thought you could. You probably can. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get that complicated. <laughs> sort by. Yeah, you can do the oh, name, yeah. the date, the type, the size, or the length. I don't know. What's more? So, like, so like oh, you the get to pick. File for Ooh. this weekend was the date, and then I put Father's Day Lighthouse. So I know it was a lighthouse type thing where that was the main capture of the day. 
it, it's only two videos, but so if I was flying like Florida, I tried to put Florida me or something like that with my file name. Yeah, so I knew the the highlight of what was really going on during that day as the main folder, and then just pull from that. Same thing with the the mini. They're each and each. Uh, like quads are in one folder, and then I've got the mini two in another folder, and mini I, one in a folder. And I started doing it, Stevie, folder. and I just I didn't keep up with it because I was yeah I was doing so many houses and so many uh, buildings right. that were going up that I just started jamming them all into it yeah, sort yeah. later. I got or three of them in this video over here, you know, where I pulled the file. Or, yeah. They're, it's so it's hard to, to label. Not yeah. to mention, you have to remember. You still got to go back and remember the file name. Yeah, you, you got to. Well, that's what I do, Stevie. My my one terabyte SSD drive is strictly, the F drive is strictly for DaVinci Resolve. Everything else is just to store the footage with my drives. That's I like that. They'll put the name of uh, the bird you're using in the day. I like the, yeah. Actually, I like the date and the bird. So, like, my yeah. video edits go on the same hard drive, but they go under a different fold folder. Yeah. So, like, at 13 or 15 or whatever the Adobe is up to or whatever, each one creates its folder, and I put it in there. But I try to keep it in the same, as you know, external drive or whatever. Jim, do you you have that all connected like through a USB port on your computer? All those yeah. drives, or is it like like a cloud? I've got a powered port. It's got fourteen ports. Uh, no, no, ten ports. Seven are for uh, USB three point and three are for actually powering right. something. Wow. And it plugs right. in, so you've got to power it. I need more ports. That's what I did. I got a powered port. It's a 10. Well, I'll show you on Amazon. Shit, it was cheap. I got one that's only four right now. Where's Amazon? Uh, I got to go back to Amazon. It goes from USB 3.0 to like four ports, two or 3.0, and two or lower. But it wasn't bad. But now I'm running out of space again because of the cameras and everything else. And yeah, see, I bought the four terabyte. <laughs> cloud because I thought I was going to hook it, that up to the back of my uh, Wi-Fi router. And I don't need to do that, man. I just need the six terabyte drives. Where is page two? Oh, this thing does it by, look at that, past three months. So I don't know what the hell. Let's go 2020. See that little phone, that little fan I've got sitting on the back of, of the, the laptop. Well, what do I care? <laughs> <laughs> just saying, bro. I'm just looking for that stupid Is power. That a dildo toy. I just seen. <laughs> well, hey, you, you're reviewing toys for for LE2, huh? <laughs> no shame in my game. If I bought it. This is a pop. No, that was a Nintendo Power. Damn it! Where is the? Look at these Samsung phones I got for three hundred dollars. That Note nines, for three hundred bucks. Damn. Still using those? Hell yeah! Damn good. Any for sale? Where is the powered port? I might need one of those. You got any of those for sale? This is the TP Link I got. I'm using now to split between this TV. And the computer next to it. It's also powered. I might need one of those for my next place. Those are cheap. Ethernet, right? Coming cheap. Up front, man. I might yeah. need one of those. Extend some Wi Fi. Uh, wireless, uh, wireless is okay, but wire connection is always the best. Yep. Yes. True. Where the hell is that damn powered port? I bet you that was 28. Oh, look at this, Mike. 3D filament. Oh, some filament. 3D, another he 3D got, filament. Oh, he you still have those? Have you used them? Printer he hasn't even put together yet. <laughs> still in the box, boys. It's still the, in the box. They're on solvable number three now. My S1 is still in the box. 
Dude, I might just have to like buy that off you and put it together and fucking <laughs> send it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is a power port? Send it back is gonna be a box, but <laughs> holy shit. I said the hell with the damn Wi-Fi. I bought the fifty foot cable wasn't long enough. <laughs> so I bought the hundred foot cable and brought it out here to the garage and it's plugged in now. Yeah. But you got to be careful when you're buying these because some, some of them, the ends on them are cheap as shit. Right. These are actually cheap as shit. The 50-foot is actually gold-plated. It can't. It's, it was a better, even though they're Cat 7, it's actually a better connected, connector. I've heard of that, people using silver or gold for connections, for speaker the, uh, wires and stuff. Gold connections are, are generally better. This is what I've got the Go Samsung. I've got the Samsung Evo one terabyte drive plugged into this thing going into my USB C port. Uh, Mr. Drone863 wants you to look up the one terabyte micro SD card. All right. I guess he mentioned it to you, mentioned it to you before. I know. Is it SanDisk? Couldn't tell you. What do you say, Justin? 400 AGL says I need a check with the port. Oh, 39, 132, 173. That's what he was talking about, the 173, right? No, one terabyte. I just need my Yeah, one terabyte, $173. Oh, okay. oh I, okay. I thought you were saying gigs. That's insane, though. What would you ever use that for? I don't know. Movie? I honestly don't know. You can't use it as a drive. It's not fast enough. The read and write speeds aren't fast enough. These things only get like 150 uh, read speeds. Write speeds, rather. The read speeds are always faster than the write speeds. Yeah, and you ain't going to change a whole lot about that. It may say that it does more, but yeah. Computer it's the original price, 160 260 It's mine. <laughs> I want to go back to, let's see if it was 2018. I want to see that damn, oh, look at that Skyrate lenses. Parabolics. That's I all I those. bought in 2018? That was a slow year. <laughs> yeah, all right, boys, it's like 11.30 here. I'm going to call it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yeah, too, actually. Thanks for letting me test this out a little bit. All right, guys. And, uh, it's about that time. So, Thank you now, for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. I had fun, and thanks and for letting me have my three or four minute rant there. Sorry about that if it uh, caused any issues. Yeah, man. It, it, uh, I hope Art recovers. I don't give a shit about him. I'm talking about oh, the people that heard it. Well, just from my my point of view. No, I, I understand. I'm just saying, yeah, I could give a shit about that quick. I understand. All right, gentlemen. Be well, Jim. I Take got care. people in my life like that, to you. Thanks, Thanks Al. Much. Appreciate yeah, it. Boys. Mike, but, I call him my brother. <laughs> you prick. Anyway. Uh, James, man. always Thanks. a pleasure. Thank you. And I, Everybody like I in the before, chat. Sorry, I hope I wasn't too, uh, you know.